like, he went to park, I saw him when I was walking here, he parked out a meter, and when we got here, and then someone left a wide open spot, and I came back and parked Straight Riffin is filming from a live internet audience. I am riffin', Mitch is riffin', <laughs> what more can I say? Straight, straight riffin'. Do you know how fucking desperate I am for some comfort in my life? I need that for you. I've seen a lot of this. I don't know how much more disgusting this experience could get. Are you really not having a good time? I'm having a fantastic time. I just can't believe how disgusting you are. I kept yelling, I'm, I'm not going to whip my dick out. We talked about that. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Featuring your host, Mitch Marzoni. I don't walk around going like, hey, I'm really weird. Look at me, I'm weird. As far as I'm concerned, I'm perfectly normal. It's, uh, it's, it's a little bit of a test. I'm a hate person. You yeah. get the All fastest, right. like, hate file transfers, the fastest test. There are two victimless crimes, all right? One, jerking off when your window's open. Two, <laughs> necrophilia. I'm confessing to a large-scale crime scene. Okay, all right. right Legs akimbo engaged in sexual discourse. Come on, man! What kind of guest are you? It's archive for posterity. Great internet. So, uh, it'll, uh, it'll come back to haunt you every day. It's time to riff. That is right, bitches and motherfuckers. It is Monday, May 14th. I think we finally hit episode 60. Hey. Did we? Oh, I think we have. Man. I think, I we, think have, so. we have done that. I don't, I don't have the six ability zero. to check right now. Six zero. In Let's place go with to it. Be. Let's just pretend it is. And then you... next week we'll call it 60 part two if I'm wrong. Pretty 60, sure I'm okay, though. 65 60, 60 60 like Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I am your host, Reverend Mitch, and with me, as always, is the ever unforgettable, oh. the fully inedible. Oh, man. You, you had a best. Uh, the hater for hire, Mr. Teddy. TMI. Tutson, how the fuck are you, sir? Uh, Yeah, man. I'm good. I'm hanging out. I'm alive. The yeah. world exists. Chilling. Conflict. Juxtapositions exist. Do you know word. what I mean? Yeah. Yin yeah. Yang. I got you. I Shout got out you. to Carl Jung. Is it Jung? Jung? I don't know. There's we, my I don't know if we ever... We never established that. I don't think we ever established that. There's my but shout that's out. Okay. Right there that's all right. That. And our, uh, our guest this evening, Miss Amy Wittry. <laughs> all right. I got it on the first try. Yeah. Without yeah, breaking like anything. That. You, yeah, you're the first like person that, that Mitch Thank has... You. Gotten the intro oh, smoothly oh, done go. for now. That was Thank good. Like Seamless, that Mitch. Well, yeah, good. thanks. Uh, that's, what I, that's what I do. How are you? I for it again Maybe. later, just saying. I'm, Any, that's fine. Anytime if, you want to yeah. make a declaration, you can get the uh, the hall effect. I you can like get that. It. Just add, If you have a proclamation, a declaration, yeah. uh, megalomaniacal mation. Uh, <laughs> Easy there, Jesse. With your fake words. <laughs> if you get a bag of chips and you need a mastication. <laughs> Rumor has a bag of chips are expensive in this neighborhood. That's what Teddy Yo, told me. son, chips is mad marked up in this <laughs> block, son. Mad marked up. So crazy. Hold on real quick. <laughs> I just got to... Uh, uh, you good? It just, good? It just feels... It feels distant. I don't know. It's mad marked right. up, son. Sorry. If you just talk at the logo, you're good. I was just checking everything because I didn't give you the speech beforehand. Oh, okay. So How's it's that? okay. Yeah, you, you tried uh, to buy chips in your hood, son? Uh, <laughs> have you tried? Yeah, actually, I, I have. I had... Uh, I still have at least a bag of Doritos in my cupboard. There was it was at the CVS. Grand uh, larceny. It was two <laughs> bags. On the two giant bags of Doritos were six bucks. Yeah. And this morning I paid like a buck fifty for a bag of the Cool Ranch Munchies. Yeah, the, 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 the ninety nine cent bag is like a dollar forty nine. And you're like, you can't have two prices on the bag, son. Oh no, these were the slightly larger ones. Yeah, so I'm, so I'm, I'm talking about the base level crime. See, y'all y'all motherfuckers talking about the one percent. I'm talking about the ninety nine percent. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Buy the ninety nine <laughs> chip bag, son. Here's, here's, you don't give a fuck about the people, Mitch. Yeah. Well, w where we're having a bit of issue here is that I don't know where it is that Yo, you attempted to acquire all of them. <laughs> now, if she came back, she's been she's been to store. She didn't see the chips. If you're talking but she knows, on, if you're talking know, on the if you're talking on the corner, that little gas station. Oh yeah, they'll they'll rob you blind. Listen, well, on I the said prices. to Teddy, I was like, it's parking is tough over here, and he goes, yeah, and the chips are really overpriced. And I was like, what's happening? I don't recall the conversation going. <laughs> that on. Like, that's how I went down. I was like, like Teddy. I was yeah. like, someone's a stoner who takes the bus. Uh, what? I'm gonna get off this bus and get me some chips. So I have to worry about when I don't have to drive. Just spend the whole time. All my Parking time goes to being like, dang, Damn, chips. I'm screwed up on these <laughs> chip prices in this neighborhood. I did not bring enough nickels <laughs> for the big bag. What? A, a grand chip auto? I don't know. Or grand theft? <laughs> grand chip, chip larceny, son. I don't know. It's grand chip larceny. That's what grand I'm chip it. larceny. Yeah. It I, is. You know. <sighs> You, you, gotta, you, you can't be a corner store and have expensive this chips. Is, That's this your is whole bread and butter. Right. This is where That's you're going to lose saying. me because I literally have never. 
I've never had the thought that, yo, this neighborhood uh, <laughs> is out of control Wait, with the shit prices. Have, have you ever had the thought period of, yo, this neighborhood on anything? Uh, like, is it like, can we just play it's like a, a fair Mitch, point. It's a, a fair point. Mitch, uh, like, if we did a Photoshop of like Mitch, like right now with his goofy right. grin on his face, and then like, underneath is like, yo, this neighborhood, <laughs> and just had a caption contest, like that would be perfect. It just maybe put a sweat yo, on you. Yo, this neighborhood. What is up with that, fellas? That's, I see it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. This, is a, this is a launch pad for a great new format for you, Mitch. Obviously. Mitch, you could, you could uh, get a whole new Called Yo, This Neighborhood? <laughs> <laughs> is that... Mitch, this amazing. You could be on MTV, too. A lot of black things happening on there. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen it. Have you, like, I don't know. I've, only because, like, now on the unemployment thing, I've gotten back in daytime TV. <laughs> Oh, so, shit. Like, I know that. that Good for you, Teddy. Good for you. Well, like, I've noticed. Uh, so, what's going on with the soaps? MTV, no. I'm focused Tell like, us about your story. Yeah, right. Okay, see, so Dante. Uh, uh, that's like gay black There's soaps. Uh, uh, no, I don't know about any of those, Mitch. Don't look at me like it's I a real thing. Wouldn't uh, know. They I do exist know. on Logo, though. There was one. How dare you? No, okay, MTV2, right? We all know MTV Should used to play videos, real? then they gave them to MTV2, right? Then MTV2 gave them up, and then like no one knew what was happening on there for a while, but found right. out it's uh, Saved by the Bell <laughs> and Boy Meets World episodes during the day. Like, up against Jerry Springer and Maury and all the judge shows. That's a that's a pretty solid back-to-back. And then, but then it gets like real blackity black black. <laughs> And they're bringing back Hollywood Squares, but it's Hip Hop Squares? Uh-uh. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are yeah, Hip Hop Squares? Yeah, exactly. It's Hip Hop Squares. Also, I think Nick Cannon is involved. Uh, he can't do too much. See? He's, he's taking on too much. He can't do too much. He needs to slow you, right? down because of see? his kidneys and stuff. Yeah, I don't right? know who Nick Cannon too much. Nick Cannon's hilarious, Daddy. <laughs> American uh, Talent? He's, American, he's married to Mariah Carey. That. Happy that. birthday to their he kids. Was on oh, the, he's with he's with Mariah Carey. Yeah. Right. That gives him some. He, was that like he was a uh, he, he was a he was a uh, no he had a show on <laughs> MTV on while now like he like he hooked <laughs> up <laughs> with her and then everybody's like yeah he was a he was like a Mariah like, brought this new guy let's put him last, on everything last crop of like Nickelodeon talent that broke out right. with like Amanda Bynes and Nick Cannon. You telling me Mariah Carey hooked up with some uh, yo Nickelodeon? Out, can we? Yo, he yeah, got. Yeah, this like, isn't new information. Yo, he been married for like four years. They got You're their vows. Pull stuff up. I can't. Okay, I, can't I forgot about that. I'm sorry. Yo, he sorry. has a mad tattoo on his back of like Mariah number one. It's like it's this whole back like number one and then just Mariah across. They have twins that just had a birthday. If you guys are keeping track. Got their vows renewed on the top of the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> I can trump this. I can go all day with Mariah and Nick Cannon facts. I can I, go all day, I, uh, baby. Straight I could go it. nowhere with them. I can name that irrelevant marital detail. How long have they been married? Oh, damn. In, four, in four, three names. Four, <laughs> what? Three, four years, something like that. Long enough for the Mayans to still be on key, it's on time. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, but uh, it's uh, but like you know, I mean, like it's but I, I like I don't keep players. up on like any gossip. I don't know how I do. I do I know do that know. I hate I Mariah Carey with a like, Eleven, just That's a burning TV. passion. <laughs> I, I hate the hell out of Mariah Carey. So are you Mariah fan? That's fine. Amy? I'm, yeah, I mean, I'm not like going to her concert or you know buying her. That's all right. Nobody perfume. else is like Mariah in her heyday. Yeah, she's incredible. Mitch, you can't hate on that, right? I did. I hated on her you back can't then. Hate on. I hate on. I've hated every part of her the whole way. <laughs> The whole time, Mitch. I was... you didn't see glitter, because that was really Yeah, good. don't I worry, nobody avoid, else did you? either. Yeah. Man, first of all, I, I found out also, thanks to daytime programming, that I think the last person too. who saw glitter was her, and then she was like, listen, this was so bad, I need, to, I need to off myself with these plates. She's like, Betty, yeah, I gotta go marry Nick Cannon. And then she showed up in Malibu eating a hot dog and had a breakdown, That's when she had a breakdown, right? she was on TRL yeah, with yeah, the popsicle sticks yeah. and stuff. There's a glitter too, though, by the way. There's all I'm saying is, like, battle... Field Earth was a terrible, terrible movie, but nobody in it saw it and then tried to kill themselves. Here's the here's thing. So Glitter has got to, like, if you're gunning for that number one spot on terrible movies, Glitter has got to beat Battlefield Earth. This right? is the obvious transition to John Travolta. It right? is very good. Oh. It is. I wasn't, I wasn't no, even, it's, but it's a, fine. A good one, Let's though. do it. Because like, yeah. Glitter is the, one of those movies, much like Battlefield Earth, where like, you would never watch it unless you were just trapped in circumstances where you had to. That's the only way I saw glitter was I was yeah. on the airline. If you were feeling emotion right? higher than the highest yeah. heavens above or whatever, <laughs> and they like, then you uh, might glitter it And they, like, the pilot, I think, knew that he was going to fuck with people when he made the movie announcements because he's like, oh, right, your movies on the flight are rounders. And I was like, yeah, oh, right. He's like, and first, glitter uh-uh. featuring Mariah. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. <laughs> you really watched this shit. Oh, yo, son, it was in front of me. Be where am I going to go? It's an airplane, son. I ain't put no headphones in. 
Close them eyes. I eventually fell asleep. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So you watched Glitter muted? Yeah. Glitter like a deaf person. Yeah. Well, I watched Glitter like... I can't tell if that make it better or worse. I'll tell you something. <laughs> I think I, I, I might have made it for the best <laughs> because I didn't hear the dialogue. I couldn't hear it. You know, I just had to infer, and I, my inference was probably much better than what oh, was yeah. going you, yeah. you probably wrote it better in your I'd head. I probably did. You know, yeah. and then I passed did. out, and yeah. I woke up halfway through Rounders, and I was just very upset all around. You know, I have a very tendency angry if I watch a movie and it's muted, uh, uh, it, I, all the dialogue becomes about vaginas, um, depending on, on the scenario. If it's a war, then it's about penises. But uh, if it's like a if it's like a sit down scene where people are talking in like a living room, I'm like there there's a there's a situation with somebody's vagina. That's uh, every scene. So like a whole movie. Yeah, yeah. I could see that. Yeah. <laughs> Woman walks in, you guys, I have to talk about my vagina and they're like, Oh my God, what is it about her yeah. vagina again? Well, and then the two guys and then she leaves and the two guys are like, seriously, what are we gonna do about this vagina situation? This is out of control. You know? yeah. And when there's like a war room, you know, and there's all the guys strategizing and they're probably in in the real movie talking about like a submarine or, or the Russians or something. It's instead like, all right, listen, uh, we need more cocks uh, in the field. And so does this carry over to real life? Quick. No, no, just movies. Okay. Literally just movies. Quick question, since I have both of you here. You oh, said good. cock. Do you say cock? Because I feel like black people don't say cock. I feel like they say dick, but I feel like white guys say cock. I'm just taking it in form. Yeah. Mm. You know what? I think that's, that's a fair assessment, actually. I was I think... told that. I'm just doing like random yeah, research. That's an interesting... I, I would... I. I love these kinds of ideas. Like they, I love, I love weird <laughs> patterns that just get noticed. No, that's good though. I had not. Do you know what though? I would, I, I would probably say that. that uh, yeah, that would, that would get a newslander stamp of approval. That, that's cock. Cock is more of a white thing. I would say. I've I've never, I never. I didn't that. grow up hearing cock. Really, it wasn't until like, you know, like cock and balls. It's a very white phrase. I think it is. It's a very white phrase. Yeah, that's true. That's true. When we watch that video. Uh, mm-hmm. I think well, in like, recent times, flip the dick, flip in, the dick, in yo, yo, time, yo, flip the much dick. Much like uh, black yeah. people have begun to uh, uh, wrestle with cunt, cock is also similar. There, it's a very different terminology. Yeah, I haven't heard a like, lot of black people use the word cunt. I had a friend. I had a friend of mine. Not a fan of it. No, not no. a fan. No. See? no, not a fan of that. But see, it's one of those. I do like... now remember that we had that we, we performed it for Moza because I remember that you had a whole <laughs> thing where you're like, I don't like the word cunt. And I was like, oh Jesus, that's my opening bit. I don't think so. Did I say that? I mean, you either said it in really your s- act or you said it to somebody as like an off, just like a that random back, backstage yeah, banter. Yeah, but it was literally, I heard it and well, I, I thought. Only, like, then I introduced you. Yeah, yeah, then I was like, she's going to hate <laughs> every part of my act. That's not true, though. That's not uh, true. That's not true. I don't hate it when people say it. I just don't enjoy the word. Right. But right. see, that's the thing. Like, It's less right. of that. You but don't like, hang out with More it. of like just cultural yeah. exposure, you know? But sure, it was like, it was a sure. black female friend of mine. She's like, I like, I, it's new to me, like that word, you know? Uh-huh. But she's like, I kind of I kind of like it. Like, you know, and I was like, all right, well, that's weird. That's interesting to hear, you know? Mm-hmm. But I was like, I don't know any other black women that I've ever had that conversation with, you know? But it's like the same thing with cock. Like, I don't, if I'm thinking I, back, I like, still feel like I, all, all my people's, it'd I'm be still, more dick. Uh, I'm, not on more the, dick I'm not on board with panties. Still don't like that word. Oh, uh, okay. Don't care for what that. What do you prefer? Uh, underwear. Undergarments. Undies, 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 undies would work. Undies, underwear. If you're gonna, okay. if you're gonna make it quick, right, go right. undies. Got it. But, you know, undies? underwear is fine. Are you, okay. undies, would, now, would you say that to a uh, lady that you were attempting to take to a boudoir? Well, I certainly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say. I, don't, I think you're the only one using boudoir, Teddy. I would. Uh, That's a travesty. You understand, like is, You're right. You're 100 right. You know how I, you know how I speak, and you know that I That's will. That's why just, I'm asking the question. Well, but you know that I will, in the middle of a sentence, use a uh, a sprinkled word. You know that mm. sort of. Mm-hmm. It's got more dressing on it than is maybe necessary. So, uh, certainly, if I were getting uh, busy with a girl, uh, if, if we were going to do untold things in a dark room. Uh, no, I certainly not, wouldn't. You said not cunt, the... you can probably say fuck. <laughs> I just. <laughs> <or have> sex. <laughs> I don't I'm try- I'm literally, literally, us the... <laughs> literally just trying to, I was trying to find new ways of saying fucking a bitch. All right. So I'm about well, to that be. that was a very dark dungeon. That's where right. it goes. <laughs> it's a very Spanish you inquisition. You in the dungeon. I don't have a dungeon or a basement. <laughs> Listen, why you got to right, get so, so upset? So what I'm saying dude? is, uh, I wouldn't dungeon, say, I wouldn't so say like, why don't you slide them undies off, girl? Like, I wouldn't do that. But now if we were going somewhere and she still had not put on the bottoms, I might say, listen, uh, slap on some fancy under things and let's get this show on the road. Uh, I use undies in a very like, hey, you got your undies are all over the floor. Okay. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't like think... A, like a housekeeper. Would. I'll put it this way. I don't think I've ever 
uh, said to a female or about a female anything involving panties or moistness. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so that yeah. was my right, next okay. thing. Yeah. Moist. <laughs> the your, word moist. Those are your words. Yeah. Is that? Are yeah. you a fan of the word moist? No. I don't. I don't know of any. I want that white that boy hate. to have a made man moist. <laughs> That's the only time it was appropriate. <laughs> was in that movie. That line was really good. Oh, I tell you, it was all in a white boy that will made me moist. Like, that's, I was like, all right, that's a good, that's the only place it's appropriate. Yeah, see, it's still funny today. It holds up. It holds it up, does. I think. It I think does. it does. But you can't use it in, uh, oh, God, I've had, I've, I've been with girls who've said that. Like, like yeah. the panties are moist. Like, oh. oh, they said panties and moist. Yeah. You tapped you're just, out right yeah. then. Could, like, you still, could you still sleep with her? Yeah, well, yeah, I, mean, I mean, come on, let's uh, just... You know, I, <laughs> grin and bear it, you know, <laughs> just trying to hunker down and, you know, get get the task done. Right. Get the job right. at hand. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy's and I don't know where you that went. Uh, you went away somewhere for like a minute there. Yeah, you did, Teddy. What happened? You tapped out to think of words you don't like. Yeah, a little bit. I was thinking about it. Yeah. Well, I was else? trying to run through my, Other my than list moist. of... Other yeah, I was trying to say... No, I can't really think of a word that is the equivalent of moist. That like, if it comes up in conversation, it is like if you just dropped a mouse in the middle of a group of people. You know, like everyone just like scattered. Like they like physically recoil away when you say moist. I can't think of anything that I have. I think you can talk about it when you're talking about like cake or cupcake. Like, oh, this is kind of moist. I've been stabbed almost. Uh, (laughs) Would you care for a bite of this moist cupcake? And I'm like, oh my god, how do you stick a not not a word, but a phrase? If you talk about. Toffer voter registration laws. Then he like <laughs> I'll kill everybody. Yeah, so he you gets Jim on the Crow attack. Loving, son of a bitch. Uh, um, gets on the, true. on the attack. I'm yeah. more of a trigger. Yeah, I'm a phrase trigger. I'm more of a uh, yeah. Manchurian yeah. candidate uh, kind of thing. You know. Okay. okay. Somebody said you have what? Do, what do you got for words or phrases that are maybe not triggers, but just where you're like. Yes, I don't use that one. Um, Other than cunt, I, I yeah, guess we probably cunt, that. nigger, and faggot. I mean, I'll say all of them just right. for example's sake. But Amy, stay the, 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 the classic three. <laughs> not, not a the fan. three corners of the earth. <laughs> yeah. The fourth I, one, I don't know what goes on over there. That's when Mitch does dark, untold <laughs> things to people. <laughs> it's Bushka's corner. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. When did you? Did I tell you? No, I did me? that. Oh, You're you welcome. Did? Boom. You. And I don't even I fucking know. Bushka. You know. But I also yeah. checked the tag. So yeah. I can read and stuff. That's good. Damn, it's good. Mm-hmm. Always got to check that tag just in case you're like, but it says Rover. Right. <laughs> you don't know this cat at all, Teddy. <laughs> or he stole a cat. That would I would be the first to be implicated. I'm actually, you know, somewhat surprised I don't get implicated in I more don't crimes. Black people steal pets. That's a Mexican thing. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm, I'm just. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's going on the board. I just entry listen. Of the night. I'm just saying, uh, as stolen pets go, you hear about that more commonly in the Mexican communities. <laughs> Stealing pets is a Mexican thing. <laughs> you know, That's what's going it's on already and not a, a white common. Thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, all right. If you, if we're oh, gonna... Is that SAT style? Cop <laughs> is to white people as stealing pets is to Mexicans? Is that how Mitch. That's what's going to go on the board, Mitch. We've got, your, we've got it down. We've got it Cock, down. Cock, colon, white. Stealing pets, colon. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, that's amazing. Stealing yeah, that's... cocks to stealing wet. Uh, pets stealing cocks. Stealing wet? Yeah. What? Well, I think... Petty. Yeah, who steals cocks, though? Who steal what? Uh, 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 Arabs, perhaps? Maybe they're cock stealers. You gotta, I mean, let's not exclude um, that. The Icelanders. This, this equation is bringing Canadians, up things in my mind. Canadians are such <laughs> cock stealers. And Wait, pet lovers. I, have you ever heard of this thing, though, that, like, they steal pets? Is that a thing? No. No, I mean, I don't mean it's like a thing. <laughs> what, what, what are you... This is not. This is not like a thing. Yeah, no, I, you, I'm merely remarking I do, that. I do believe your words. It's a thing. Uh, uh, I mean, okay. Uh, I'm trying to think of how to phrase. Maybe this. less stealing, more just providing a new home. <laughs> Maybe if Shit. it wandered. In. Mexicans Did love to give homes to lots of living things. <laughs> Is that a better? <laughs> well, that's worse, bro. That's a lot worse. I know. That's a lot worse. I think we agree. Yeah. You, that's, yo, bro. You, your double down was horrid. <laughs> if there's not at least six children per square foot, they're uncomfortable and they need pets. Okay. You know what I would? Uh, or, or, uh, you know or, you uh, stealing all the all the tax money from us hardworking white folks. That's the other thing that Mexicans are very <laughs> fond of. Which, by the way, this is the thing that I always found amusing when you hear like the uppity uh, Republican uh, people talking about like uh, illegal immigrants fucking up, you know, oh, living off our tax money and everything mm-hmm. else like that. Is I'm immediately going like, 
what world do you live in? They don't. What taxes do you think they're they're stealing? Like they All they're paying into the money, oh. paying into the, <laughs> no, they're paying into the taxes, but they don't collect anything. They're not allowed to. Yeah, but and they, and it just comes out of the check. It. So I mean, I don't know where you think. Oh, um, it's, it's all right. it, have you ever seen the movie? Speaking of you and, and Mexicans and pets and your your square footage theory, <laughs> you ever see the movie Beethoven? With the with the, the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, I told recently you before, saw that again. My mom had yeah. descendants of Beethoven. I would I would love to see you. Yes. I would love to see you greenlight a a Mexican remake of Beethoven, like starring George Lopez. That would be phenomenal, Mitch. Where he steals a bunch of Mexicans aren't big on Saint Bernard. No, I would love like how would you how would you <laughs> cast <laughs> like I would say how would you cast a Mexican Beethoven, Mitch? Well, he first recast the dog. Obviously, you just heard him. He said he's not going to have... Well, what I would do is get rid of the title character. <laughs> it's not going to be the St. Bernard. Yeah, right? those, those two were the Chihuahua last... Chihuahua was a little I, too I, obvious. The two St. The Bernard of Bernard Bernard had were the last with Taco descendants, Bell. and uh, they were actually... They were all sold... All of them were sold uh, neutered or spayed or whatever. Ooh, killed the bloodline. Right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They were all sold that way, and they both of them died probably four years ago. So right, there's geez. no more Beethoven bloodline out there. Gonna have to bark up another tree, so uh-uh. to speak. Uh-uh. No, but... you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't bark up another tree. You did not make open. I, uh, I really like... didn't. I didn't mean for it to be that way, but it happens. Uh, <laughs> but I do love the hell out of St. Bernard's. They're like, they're awesome dogs. I couldn't own one. It's too much, just way too much work. It's too much too slobber. Big, yeah. It's yeah. a ridiculous amount of slobber. That's a, that's a, that's a person of, uh, it's a rich person's dog. Definitely. Poor rich people. person, big house dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's like, ri- that's like, that's, a, that's elite, elite dog. When we got our yeah, first St. That, Bernard. Yeah, that is a rich, a, that is Yeah, a when I was a kid, when we got our first St. Bernard, we lived in, we lived in Texas in the Woodlands. If you're from Texas, maybe you remember. H Town, fuck the Woodlands. I won your debate tournament, bitches. <laughs> Run, tell that. Look, I, I'm not taking pride. I'm you and your fancy you... ass auditorium. Fuck all y'all. Just wondering if you'd heard of them. <laughs> Difficult brown words to live by. Don't worry about it. I got your words for you. It's cool. Go on. I'm sorry. All right. Come on, man. So, uh, uh, we lived in a, apparently it's a really upscale uh, neighborhood. This is this is in back in the late seventies, early eighties. So it's not like this is. Uh, and we had a neighbor with a Saint Bernard, and I guess he just always hung out at our house. And when we moved from the woodlands because we ran out of money, uh, yeah, that's about right. Because <laughs> apparently my father's a bit of a gambler. Um, <laughs> we we uh, we took the dog with us. I guess we were the Mexicans that day, but I don't think we <laughs> stole it. I don't. I was I was under the impression. That it was that it was I given love, to us. I love the way you slid that in there. <laughs> and like it's like you were telling the worst Aesop fable at all. Like the last page is like kind of stuck. To the so I guess we were the Mexicans that day. In in conclusion, I think we all learned a. I think we all learned a, br- a very valuable lesson about quesadillas that evening. Um, <laughs> but you're saying the Saint Bernard is a rich person dog. Well, yeah, I, I think, guess so I get, because I we did. T- we ended up with the Saint Bernard, but it was the that dog was What's... dog literally talked me into bed. Would okay. come up. And lift the blanket over me. So I'm still. And would do rounds with, between me and my sister. Would walk between our doors. Sounds like just, an au pair. Whatever that yeah. is. Nanny yeah. situation. Nanny. Fancy nanny. And a person, an au That's, pair lives in the same house as a Saint no. Bernard. Okay. <laughs> no, That's, you got to get your terminology right, baby. You got to get that goop terminology. Oh, an au pair is a person. Yes. Okay. It's a nanny. Yeah, yeah. But I don't. I, well, no, an au pair I is not that. a person. Actually, <laughs> That's and goop where you don't make hang a mistake, out. Mitch. Which also, by the way, I, I can't like believe a that a, a human being would sit down and go, "I'm going to write a style magazine and call it Goop," and like, like. Here's Gwyneth, the thing. Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth Paltrow. Are you, are you, are you yeah. familiar Admittedly, with the Goop? Admittedly, I'm a sick perv, but like, there's certain situations like that. But I know it I've been chastised for knowing that I know, and I was like, how can how can you not know your opposition? You got to know. I've heard about it. Yeah, no, I, I'm uh, I, but I, I just because of my brain, like I hear and see things, and I'm just like, you could not have thought that was a good idea, <laughs> Siemens cell phone company. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I saw a fucking cement company the other day, what? and their name was C E M E N E X. How would you pronounce that? Wait. C E M E N E X. Seminex. Or I mean, Seminex because right. it's cement. <laughs> but yeah, even Seminex. Either way, doesn't it sounds like something you like you take vaginally if you're having trouble giving birth, like uh, having trouble conceiving. Oh, we got seven. Yeah, maybe. Right? Mm-hmm. It definitely uh, titillates the imagination, if you Titillate. will. There's another one, but I like it because it's got the word well, tit in word. it, and it means what you think it would mean <laughs> when you hear tit 
a lady. You know what? I really hope that's how the conversation went. When Speaking that one of breastfeeding, how old is too old? Oh, well played. <laughs> well played. Zingers, kids. Hey, Zingers dude. are on the on the menu tonight. Uh, well done, man. That was oh, thanks, tremendously thanks. executed nice. segue. Uh, uh, you know, Time Magazine. Here's my thing. I Let's don't. Really I don't photo. care. First off, I don't. The stage, I don't Mitch give a we're, shit. We're oh yeah, we're talking about the Time Magazine. Everybody, come on, Mitch. Just How could you live in this? All right, the for Time the Magazine knows cover what a podcast with the child, is, the child on the front. But doesn't know. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> like, if, like, yeah. Like, Once upon a time, there were magazines. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> Remember those kids? Oh, you mean that newsstand app on my phone? Oh, yes. Like that, very similar. <laughs> Only it was physical, and it used to employ someone next to a bodega. Mm-hmm. But overcharge for chips. <laughs> it's true, mm-hmm. and magazines. Yeah, I buy the Time magazine, but I ain't buying your ruffles, motherfucker. <laughs> First off, I can't believe we're having a national conversation about breastfeeding. I can't, bro. I can. I, I mean, I can, but like, really? We'll talk about anything for an hour. I mean, know. I you know, the U.S. is like, oh my god, this is the biggest deal right now. And well, moving anything on. to avoid the only substantive thing that will, dialogue. In what this bothers country. me is like, I was I was reading, uh, I hang out on Metafilter, and they were having a conversation about it, and it was about uh, it was about extreme breastfeeding, as they call it, uh, amongst other things, attachment parenting, AP. Uh, oh, now, extreme shit. breastfeeding again sounds like somebody like you know on a snowboard, you know what I mean? Extreme <laughs> breastfeeding. You know. So I'll go with attachment parenting, which I also take issue with that term. That phrase sounds terrible, attachment parenting. Like, it sounds very, like... What does that mean? You sleep in the bed? Yeah, yeah. They sleep in their bed. Oh, okay. It's very... So Maya Blalick, Blalick, you know, oh, yeah, Blossom. 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 Mm-hmm. So she's she went on, on a, bang, you know, whatever. she went on a news program and had this whole, they were talking to her about the whole thing. And when she talked about it, she was like, I have a conversation with my son about whether it, we're ready to give that up and all this stuff. And I, and I kind of thought, like, I couldn't imagine my mother, like, sitting down and going, like, okay, it's time to have a conversation <laughs> about you breaking the neighbor's window. Uh, you know that wasn't right. Like, no, it was just, <laughs> like, whoosh, you know, and you're grounded or whatever. I, that's what bothers me, but, but I don't care how anybody raises their kids. What I do have an issue with is uh, she she keeps that on the down low, but it's all over her book. She's an anti-vaxxer. She went to her buddy, Jenny McCarthy, and was like, hey, who's your pediatrician that doesn't make you vaccinate? And so she got hooked up with that. And that bothers me. She's a neurosurgeon. She should know better. That bothers me. That's the only part where it becomes kind of my business because now it's a now you're a, affecting society at large. Behind closed doors, he, fucking if you want your son to suck in your titty till he's 50. Yeah, I don't it's like give a your shit. T- your call. Like to me, I don't yeah. care. Who I don't care about shit? that. Well, I think the thing, the Wait, did you just tell you that Blossom was a neurosurgeon? Did I hear that? Yeah, yeah. Or neuroscientist, perhaps. Okay, I should have said okay. that. I do believe, I don't think neurosurgeon. I think neuroscientist. Neuro, okay, okay. Go ahead. Um, the thing I think is interesting, I but saw still. somewhere that. She was breastfed until she was six. So, you know, it's definitely, I guess, like hey, passing the torch down. It's the same thing as the lady on the front of the magazine said, yeah. No, I mean, that's, I mean, that's, oh, oh, yeah, oh, that's the lady on the front of the magazine. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, 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 that's the lady from the magazine. Oh, yeah, but um, that's why I got that confused oh, there. Oh, okay. Um, but it's, 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 like, it's just, I mean, it's one of those things with, like, listen, it's one thing to, like, definitely to push the issue and have the conversation, you know? But it's another thing, like, why are you making yourself the face of this movement <laughs> on a Time Magazine cover. That's the part where, like, we were talking about before with that, with, like, the kid. Yeah, yeah neuroscience, I'm sorry, You sorry, know, yes. where it's like, what what is this even about anymore? Is this really about what is best for your child or, like, you getting a chance to be on the cover of Time and, That's like, definitely your kid is, is a prop? Because oh. I feel like the kid looks like a prop. What a convenient thing that that mom had a blog just riddled with ad words. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, uh... And her her website went down from too much traffic recently. It's like that's that's a pretty fat paycheck you get out of all this like I'd do parading, the same. I mean, well, like parading <laughs> your child around. If I could be on Time Magazine yeah. and get some traffic, hey, yeah. Hey, come here, kid. Yeah. <laughs> hey, again, do what you want for yourself, right. but it's the uh, you bring in but the three year old into the. Like, can, is know? there actual science of like? Do we know science on breastfeeding? I think that there isn't enough studies that I think I read this something today that there isn't enough studies of people doing it long enough. That can say, oh yeah, there's benefits of you doing it for four years or six years. Right. I don't think there's been enough, you know. Well, well, the problem, I guess, apparently in most countries, it's pretty common to go to three, four years. Is it? Yeah, that's what. That's just literally. I've done maybe a day's worth of research on this just because mm-hmm. it came up, and I, I was like, whatever. I figured this would come up. It did. Um, 
It's it's relatively common, but I think the problem is that in most situations where you hear about breastfeeding discussions, where there's this weird divide and this weird argument, is that there seems to, there's kind of two people that still breastfeed, um, uh, extremely poor families and extremely rich families, and almost no middle class because they got two working parents, and who's got time to breastfeed? And I think that oddly enough kind of part of the the national conversation on this should be that there isn't time for that. There isn't, like, you get 10 weeks off if you have a kid. We're the only country with no real kind of paid maternity leave at all in the Western world. and it's it's not even, it's not, they're supposed to give you up to 10 weeks off, but they don't have to pay you for it. Which is oh, they don't have to pay like your full salary or something too. They but how are we in this? Well, like, most companies will still try and weasel out of what they even owe you on maternity leave too. Exactly, you know? they won't exactly. even put the right stuff in the HR manual that they give you. You know, the policy's incorrect, so it's not like they're being it's forthright anyway. Experience. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's uh, like that. That's like <laughs> don't yeah, don't even put that. Let's not go down that road. Well, that's the well, same <laughs> thing as like corporations are they're required to give you a, a a fucking hour lunch or half hour lunch depending on how much time you work, but the working lunch has become a thing. Because so many corporations are like, listen, why don't you just work? And they're like, well, do we, we really need a lunch? I mean, we let you, we let you take a lunch, mm-hmm. lunch where you work. I mean, like, like they, it's that thing where like, yeah, I did, exactly. you, I did you this big favor. Like, you, did, you haven't done me anything. Yeah, champ. We let you leave the <laughs> confines of the office for champ. thirty minutes to fucking stuff your face with food before you get stuck back in this prison we've created right. for you. Is that not enough? Um, so, but but the thing is, what fucks me up is like, how are I feel like the only reason that people still go to offices is just because like corporations are, are I don't want to say evil, but there's, there's something fucked up and wrong. Like, why do you even go to an office? There's no reason anymore to go to an office. Well, that's not necessarily true. There is the <laughs> sense of camaraderie and such and so forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, listen, tell you don't need to go to an office necessarily to go to Not a all fucking, the time. Not all Five the days time. a week, you don't need to do it. Five days a week, no. So. Certainly... Uh, most day, I, I, high nineties percent of jobs could be done remotely, never having to see a coworker. I work from home, part time. It's Up amazing. top, yeah, it's so. I'm mostly nice. excited that I can five now on the show <laughs> instead of like because before it would have been like across the room. I wouldn't be able to. I mean, do like it, I, can, so. I oh certainly. I'm, not, I'm just. I see the benefits that exist to having, uh, like you know, somewhat regular. Inter office. I'm not saying like right. I know, and once some a week. Th- if you have a weekly yeah, meeting, it's certainly the teams it's that matter. very yeah. very dependent on the position and the industry. Certainly, but I think that I've I've certainly experienced that there is a, a, a real resistance from a lot of companies to. Uh, well, I guess it's 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 very indicative of everything that we have pretty much going on in the world. We're like the fucking managers got no problem working remotely. You know, they will fucking <laughs> oh, abuse yeah. the fuck oh, out yeah. of that yeah, shit. Yeah. And then they they use it as this toy and a yo yo for everyone else at the company. And then when they they're like, well, we don't know what you're doing when you're working. You <laughs> so know. here, yeah, and I'm like, here's, I, you know, you people are fucking running around doing everything. Like the, the evolution, but the evolution of the corporate job basically went like this: like uh, when VisiCalc, the first uh, spreadsheet program came out in the early 80s. I thought you were talking about like an ancient Viking case. Sorry. <laughs> when VisiCalc... I don't know anything about the, the very precursor, first spreadsheet. The, is the like, precursor to Microsoft Excel. Uh, VisiCalc. <laughs> <laughs> giving you a little history lesson. Okay. VisiCalc right. came out. Uh, the guys who created it, it just had, they were they were kind of bored accountants and Nerds. sort of learned some programming stuff and they were like, hey, let's let's put this together on an old Apple too. And um, they were like, uh, they were like, yeah, this is this is pretty awesome. Like, you know what? I bet other accountants would like this. They went to an accountant's convention with an Apple II, set it up, and said, "Hey, check this out. You can put your thing and so on and so forth." Twenty second, thirty second demonstration, and there was just a crowd of people like holding credit cards. Like, I want that. How how five hundred, six thousand? How how many thousands of dollars for that? And they hadn't even come up with a price. They didn't even know if they were going to sell it. They were just like, "We're just showing you this demo." Shit went off because because these accountants were like, you just did in 15 seconds what it takes me uh, at least uh, six, seven hours of a work day to do. So in your head, you're thinking, I can get a week's worth of work done in an hour. And you could. But how does corporate America respond to that? Not, well, you did your 15 minutes of work. Time to go home. Instead, oh, well, then we can use this nine hours to do six months of work instead of six days of work or six minutes of work or whatever it is. 
And that's sort of, you know what I mean? Like, I definitely agree with the concept of your work is done, get your stuff done, go home, do your thing. But, but that's not how being, it works. You can't ever, yeah. If you have to just show up and always clock in for a certain amount of time. That's why they don't have the remote efficient. working. That's yeah, not efficient. That's not Because they're like, well, blah, blah, blah. but again, yeah. if you're, what are you being paid to do? And yeah. I think in a lot of cases, you're just kind of paid to fill office space. Right. Which is another thing, because it's like, you don't need, it seems to me from a fiscal perspective, you don't need an office if 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 nobody has to come well, in, well, it's one of those things. And if you're where just it's... doing like once a week meetings, you're like each team has to meet amongst that team once a week and just the team. Don't bring in other teams because then it gets oh, it's out of control. I'm just telling corporate America how to work here. So <laughs> each team meets once a week at a fucking Starbucks or a fucking whatever. You can rent a, a closet or whatever. Go to you're Steve's apartment or whatever the fuck mm-hmm. for the price that it would cost to rent a, a room anywhere. Uh, for having a weekly meeting, rent an hourly hotel, whatever the fuck, for an hour. <laughs> well, no, I'm they're saying there's, there's, there's ways to get around. I mean, this is the other thing, though, is like it's, you'd save listen, a shitload of money. I mean, and who cares if they didn't Mitch, get nine hours Mitch, of work done? There that are day? Plenty, the, the thing is that saving so much money. Yes, they already know that. That's why there's a whole industry within the corporate America of just boardrooms for rent in cities. Yeah. That's a, so exactly. it's not like they don't know this. Okay, it's the same thing of like the tobacco industry knows that eventually marijuana will be legalized, and their whole profit model as it exists is fucked it's the fact of they know these things but people don't want to change the model to something new because a it's what they know and they're comfortable and they are resistant to change and b fuck you i got mine you know like it's just it's just easier to it's be like, like the media companies yeah, until you MBAA, literally R-I-A-A, fucking, R-I-A-A, yeah. yeah but it's like until you literally storm the castle and are like no we're changing this shit they're not gonna change anything ever they're gonna just yank it around and managers are gonna work remotely and give themselves bonuses and not give a fuck about anybody else managers, man. until it. it ever like until you just grab the system and break it in half. There's no other but way see, that it happens. That's what I'm saying. This argument, this whole discussion about breastfeeding is it should not be about breastfeeding. This argument should right. be about, hey, how come America hates women? That should be <laughs> right. Well listen, that's the conversation. Why does America hate women? No. Why do corporations make you do stupid fucking jump through hoops well, tricks? Just, uh, and why are we not having a okay. fucking open debate about why companies Here's a question. are just fucking destroying people's lives Here's because hey, for hey look, I need another Ferrari for my my sixteen year old son. He's graduating middle school. I question. mean well, I, like I gotta get okay. I gotta I like get him Ferrari something. Voice. I mean, right? Hey, I mean <laughs> It's fucking uh, hey hey um, you fucking all right sorry go ahead almost. here's yeah, my sure. here's my here's my question did you need uh, a for you Amy? you should have the opener over no, there it's no it's twist off bitch oh Bud Light making things easy for Americans since forever <laughs> all right <sorry>. um, <laughs> I my when you saw that cover what was your first thought about just the whole thing of just like what was your what's your first instinctive reaction to walk that us through if cover? you will okay my first instincts cover. I am a time subscriber <laughs> and um, Are you? yeah oh mm-hmm, okay yeah mm-hmm. they still exist all right yeah exactly that's why she's on that inside track of I like that. That. I like magazine. Yeah. Amy's got that real first hand yeah. resentment. In it. I thought, well, you know what? They're a magazine. They need to put something on the cover in order to get people to talk about them right, for the right. first place. And number two, her tit, her call. I don't care. Right. You know what I mean? I don't care. And okay. I know that that, it also, I know that that is considered shocking, right. but it's also not the most offensive thing that's ever been on Time Magazine because P.S. Yeah. Sarah Palin has been on the cover a million <laughs> times. So some pretty Bro, lady whoa, whoa, is dad. out there Showing her tit with her kid out of get your shit. Somebody. Now here's the now here's my here's the point that I was that like the first thing was oh yeah they just need to sell magazines yeah. which is your point Mitch of yeah. the debate is irresponsible which is my cent- which is central to my thesis That's which fair. is the fourth estate the traditional media in this country has failed in its role which is your the whole thing is the conversation sucks why does the conversation suck because the institutions in charge of having a better conversation don't give a fuck about conversations they give a fuck about enabling people who are like I got a blog and I want to fucking show me breastfeeding my kid on the magazine. And right, and I'm all for and her. And she should go be able do to do, your go thing. do your thing. Exactly. But if I ran Time Magazine, I'd be like, get the fuck out of here. I want to have a serious conversation about why we don't have maternity leave. That's And you wouldn't have a cover with that if that was your conversation. Yeah. Yeah. So the, like, it's it's like she can, like, you know what? Who we never talk about the right things. Right? We <laughs> never talk. And, right it's time, like, it's always time's fault. Like, all the blame is on Time That's Magazine. That's why we here. got this podcast. I don't blame When we talk about the right fucking things. But I don't blame them. They're trying to stay relevant, you know? Yeah. Put something on there because you're gonna, people are right. going to talk so about then, it. Okay, we don't blame yeah. time. Then who do we blame? 
Who is the who is time? You can time? blame time. I'm not blaming, but you can blame. Well, him. Who you gonna blame if you don't blame time? Because who's time trying to stay relevant to? That's what I'm asking you, sister. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's 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 a multi- who's shucking and jiving you when you shucking and jiving? It's jiving. a multifaceted system of blame. Terrible right, when you get down to it. It is, but a- but at the same time, I don't think that we're the only ones having this sub conversation. And for that, I say, hey, whatever gets people talking. No, that's the shitty part about it, bro. Because what gets people also, talking doesn't get them talking about the right thing. That shit is a cop-out, son. I've also heard a number of people in recent days, recent weeks, I've heard both sides. Of, well, it's actually two sides of the exact same argument. Both, si- both sides of the same argument are fucking, so she's breastfeeding, right? And then there's some side of that exact argument, or, or some part of that argument, rather. There are the people who are like, yeah, I tried to breastfeed in public. And it felt like I was trying to steal a Snickers bar. Like, everybody's staring at me. i got to put a blanket over his head. I don't know. If, like, is he too hot under there? Is he going to suffocate? He or she. Uh, <laughs> uh, so that that's that kind of thing. And then there's other people who either aren't parents, never breastfed, whatever, that just go, yeah, who gives a fuck? You're breastfeeding. And so those those two groups of people are on the same side. So there's only one other side, which is, ew, stop that. And... I feel like if the debate regarding that Time Magazine cover becomes, hey, everybody, it's breastfeeding, chill the fuck out. <laughs> right. Then fucking right, kudos. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. If that ends up being the end result, then I think that's a, that's a step. Okay. That's a good step. I'll give you that as a fair point. I'll that doesn't that excuse that they are, in a, in a weird sort of way, they were trying to sort of sexualize it, which is like fucked up and wrong. Because there's just nothing, as much as like, I love titties, don't get me wrong. But like uh, a titty breastfeeding, you gotta you gotta cut that out. You gotta be like, Mm-mm, that's that's a different kind of titty. That's the same titty, Mitch. <laughs> Mitch, it's the same titty. I mean, I think everyone. No, on but this I'm side saying the during the act the of breastfeeding, that's not the titty that I'm. You know, I'm not. Yeah, breastfeed. You know what I mean? You gotta you gotta leave. You gotta let that it's happen. Not some sort of Stephen Hawking universe that <laughs> happens with. No, I, you say that's nature, that's not the, right? What he's saying is a breastfed breast. Feeding titty isn't the kind of titty that gets him hard. That's not the kind of titty. He's I mean, I you shouldn't be. That. You shouldn't you be jerking off to that. I'm, I'm just saying. To, I'm trying to pick <laughs> Don't hope. sexualize. What I'm trying to do is take the elevator down in the right, inception right. that is Mitch's right. mind. Start knocking down. I mean, again, I love tech. titties. You know, I am I mean, the Alan Page inside of his Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> mind right now when it comes to. I'm in that bottom floor and I'm like, it's the same titty, Mitch. He's like, get out of here. You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> I That's... saw Maul in there. <laughs> She's one angry bitch. I saw the same titty. He was like, no! <laughs> okay. That, that, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just don't sexualize the titty. Now people in the chat are bringing up what you brought up before the show, which is like, let's talk about that kid. Now my point... Thank you. Rip All Opulence. Right. Yeah, a lot Rip of people... Rip hey, hey, I feel the a streets lot of and the streets feel me. A lot, a lot of people, a lot of people uh, have made tonight. that argument. But I argue... All right, first and foremost, you need to consider the kid, despite what he looks like on the cover, is only three. Now, I don't know. Erroneous. But my recollection was, <laughs> my recollection, let me give my, because uh, my recollection is right off the bat that, that I was six years older than whatever grade I was in. Because when I graduated, I was 18. So in my head, I probably started kindergarten at six. I think I went to preschool at five then, maybe. Now, there's no way preschoolers baby are like, genius. there's no way that a preschooler uh, well, I'm just guessing because if kindergarten <laughs> is not one, I was six years ahead. Then I guess, right? What? You sound dumb. Usually, eight, you, you graduate <laughs> from seventeen right? to eighteen, right? Right. So, uh, yeah, they probably sound dumb. Teddy graduated thirteen or some shit. But uh, <laughs> cum laude in free school. <laughs> uh, top of my preschool. I drew all them pictures, motherfucker. Top of my crayons, when they said draw an elephant, I used the gray crayon. Everybody else was using blue. I was like, they ain't no fucking elephant. That's why you ain't got a preschool HD. Anyway, now listen. Draw inside the lines. Fuck your lines. <laughs> uh, so, now, there's no way the preschool kids are going to make any association in their head of like, oh, you're titty sucker boy. Yo, what year right? was that? What year was that? It was a different animal back then, B. Ah. Kids are savages. I'm son. making the same point. It is a different animal now because first Crush off, bottles nobody in, in the preschool, no nobody in the preschool is rainwater. reading Time magazine. Okay, so now probably the kid's gonna be second, third grade before anybody even recognizes him, much less knows any has any. Why would those kids Doobies. read Time magazine? Uh, 
Maybe it's in the bathroom or their but parents' house. But you also have to consider one thing that we've talked about on this show many, many fucking times. It's like with everything being online and everybody's every life mm-hmm. being on. I'm so fucking glad, mm-hmm. by the way, that nobody had video cameras or YouTube when I was growing up. I know it. I just thought about that last I would have been. I would have been. I just I would, thought about that. I was like, oh, thank God. I would have been God. drinking. My family was big into home movies, bro. I'd be ruined, son. I'd be uh, yeah. ruined. All these I'm people starting you, Facebook pages for their kids. Like, you, you'd be doomed, <laughs> oh son. God. Star Wars kid. <laughs> Would have been a fucking national hero. I would have been drinking his piss probably oh, on YouTube. Like it would have been terrible. Like it just. I'm so glad that didn't exist. So what I'm saying is, there's a generation growing up. Their whole lives are going to be like that. Oh. Why everybody's got a camera? Everything embarrassing is going to get blogged about, thrown on YouTube, talked about on Facebook. Fucking, there's going to be a page made on Facebook. There's going to be a Twitter profile. Have their own America's Funniest Home Video. Right, right. but n- more than I mean, like, uh, uh, like a huge. You know, in every town, there's like, hey, that's the girl that fucking. Uh, that's the guy that you remember mm-hmm. when he. You know, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. There was those whispers. Mm-hmm. Now it's like, now I've got video. Mm-hmm. Like it's gonna. Ha- so, really, this cannot. I just don't see as no this escape. is going to be a, a, a highly important thing. I don't think so either. There's going to be... By, I don't think By so. the time he is in junior high, one of his little whore classmates have already had a sex tape. So his little <laughs> titty mom cover when he was four is not going to be a big okay. deal. Okay, let's talk now, about Here's what shaming. I will say. Oh, okay. I will propose to you the terribleness parallel theory, <laughs> which is that all kids... Horses, man. <laughs> listen, all kids, travesties, traumas, what have yous, operate in a parallel with each other. There's no real... Con- none, none of one's ever going to beat anybody. Do you know what I mean? They're just racing forever until they die, okay? <laughs> They're going to be an arms race for who can outshame, and like, who can sustain the damage when the shame comes to Behave yourself! Right? Listen, listen. We already know, like, we see the teens who were fucking locked up for being child predators, because they sent a penis to a 14-year-old and they're 15 and they're sex offenders forever, right, bro. Right, right. Those kids don't handle that shit well, man. It's, like, it's not like we need to wait a long time for the thesis to get confirmation about what's going to happen to these traumas in these small towns. These so kids are fucked, bro. My kids are these fucks, son. There's a whole generation of kids that are fucked. These so kids you're not come... worried. So this kid... Is this, off kid's, the table. this kid's doomed, son. No, but, no, but he's not it. any more doomed than no, any other and this kids is, in Okay, your so scenario. this is where I'm saying to you, right? In your post Mayans no, apocalyptic. Yeah, so I guess the, this is why I was mentioning Amy, too, right? But the, I guess the difference is that, like, the only way the kid has a chance is if the, somehow they have a inner strength to uh, sustain and be adverse in the That's face the of a dysfunctional That's the thing that black people family. do. They forget the G in strength. <laughs> strength? Strength? Yeah. Strength? That's strength? a weird one, strength? right? Strength? Put that down this? next to cocktail. <laughs> ain't no, ain't no, yeah. As, no, I don't have enough room on the board for your ethics. I, uh, I, I could not, but I mean, I've noticed it a million times. I never wanted to say so anything. Say, I just thought, strength. hey, you brought up the black say thing strength. first. Say it. Say I brought it. up the black strength. thing first. Strength. Then you brought up the Mexican stealing thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, if, yeah. you, if you can lift a lot of weight, you have a lot of strength. You have yeah, a lot you of. You ain't got no strength. <laughs> There's a G in there. I mean, I've seen it. I've oh, seen it with my G's. own eyes. You yeah. ain't got no G's. Real G's move in silence like strings. <laughs> no, no, you are okay. Listen. All right, so you can write it's down a, the black. This goes the right up there. I will take strength. this to the next black congregational meeting, and we will talk about when that. When is that? Uh, I can't tell you, uh, but uh, we will talk. I've about been doing that. this podcast with him for over a year. Still won't tell me either. <laughs> next time we talk about ask versus axe. I will uh, bring I can, up. I can tell. I know. I know roughly what topics they discuss based on how <laughs> excited he gets when we bring up a topic on this podcast. And I think to myself, that, that was at the last meeting, was wasn't it? Last... You guys had it out with that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> now the other thing. Now, uh, I, sorry, I didn't want to shed on your point. So you feel free to continue because I, I got my little speech in. Uh, uh, I'm trying to write. Ain't no G in strength. <laughs> uh, strength. <laughs> S T R E N G T H. We all say words differently. Strength. Right? Look, you see how it is on the board? Strength. <laughs> strength. Uh, so you got real strength. I like you it. pronounce it with strength. You ain't got time for no G, motherfucker. I got other words to you spell. You might want to make sure that's tilted towards the wall. I don't want it to knock over ain't your beard. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Exactly. What? Exactly. Oh, that's where the G went. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's where the G goes. goes. All right. Boom. Everybody that's on the couch way. knows something about being black, bitch. I told oh, you. Everybody that's... in a swivel chair with no headrest knows something about being black. I got a black. swivel chair. You ain't got no headrest. Those head. are short chairs. You got I don't head know what you want to call them. That sounds bad, right? Like, if I go, yeah, everybody on the short chairs, but it's like. 
But those are way more comfortable than mine. I got this no fucking annoying of you got the bar rest. in the Why back. Why we ain't got no headrest on the black side, the northeast <laughs> side, Mitch? Yeah, that's right. You know how white people be taking all the headrests for their chairs? I feel I should explain, Amy. Um, <laughs> previously to this uh, new studio, okay. we, we brought guests out of, out, of my old, out of my old living room. <laughs> <laughs> that's the short version. The long version is... Uh, we had broadcast out of my living room, so I had a couch on one side, and then I sat at a little fold-up table with a shitty chair and whatever, and had the laptop and the oh, mixer okay. and all this stuff. So the joke was that yeah, it was a big, it's the one in there. Right, the right, right. Black the rape leather couch. couch. I saw it. Yeah. Big black Again, I just couch. moved in. I haven't right, had time yeah. to get around to it, all right? Don't, <laughs> don't cast aspersions just yet. No, let me, no, 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 no. Let me warm up the machine so now um uh uh so the the joke became that everybody on the couch knew something about being black and that's why i didn't mm-hmm. belong there oh. so now it's weird i mean you have different chairs than i do yours are more comfortable oh what you're trying to say about our chairs mitch we don't our chairs don't look the same as your chair mitch i would does that make swap? our chairs fundamental i will swap I don't with you in seconds you know chair, that mitch. won't make him happy either he's just I know, a happy i know complainer. you know why because you're just gonna go get some new chair that ain't got no fucking legs and just hover chair with a headrest you old elitist I I will, I will probably do Two that. Two chairs do separate, but equal have it, chair. motherfucker. You ain't no better than no brown versus no board of education. I'm better than that. Anyway, my point was... <laughs> I mean, listen, let's, my point was... Let's, let's calm this will, down a bit, away from the All meandering. I just said was that you took the G out of strength and put it in nothing but a G thing. The way the kids... Baby. Okay, it's like all those kids... <laughs> that was a real... Word. Thing. It's like I got the Barry White double team for a second. Um, Excel. <laughs> I got uh, like the kids who make those video Visit diaries, calc. and they get they get they get made fun of. PowerPoint. You know what I mean? You know those yeah, kids. It was the early version of Excel, right? You What's know, that? You know the kids who make the video the YouTube videos, right? They're just like talking in the YouTube videos, and you're like, you should not be on the internet. You pay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. so listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's you're what I'm, that's what I'm right. talking. Okay, so those kids already exist. All right, yeah. we already have a real solid pool. That's a thing now. That's a yeah. thing. Okay, and right. it's been a thing that's like we're now we're realizing it's a thing because the, like. I remember getting in a conversation uh, with a sister's, my, one of my sister's uh, friend's dad, my younger sister's friend's dad at like her birthday party a long time ago. And I was like, I feel like generations are moving faster now, the gap between them. Because like you and I are more similar in high school than me and my sister were. This is like to an older, you know, like, yes. you know middle-aged guy. And I was like, her high school experience is going to be way different from mine, do you know? But like... Ours is very similar, you know. And so, like, generationally, yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's like, and and her, and like five years from now, shit's gonna be much different mm-hmm. from what happened then. So, like, you know, when we have these sample sizes, we don't need as much research time. I feel like because we have such a high volume of data collection, and parents are fucking up in real time. You can see kids. <laughs> you can see kids. You'd be like, if you don't have the parents who can equip you with the skills that you need, then you either have to be like one fucking amazing kid. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You said parents are fucking up in real time. That's so funny to me. <laughs> Should we put that on? So. Uh, parents are fucking up in real time. I like that, Teddy. It's I good. Like that. No, but it's true because I saw. And blogging about it. Yeah, I saw. Right. And Time Magazine and about it. Because I saw some little kid, like, tell me that, he, not telling me, but like, Online doing his own videos, singing his own little rap song about how he jacks off to his friends on Facebook, and I was like, "You should never, right. ever put that out on the right. internet. Like, right. someone needs to be in your and corner." Listen, and I get it, right? Like, he's it, a terrible. Although rapper. I gotta respect the level of honesty, I would never admit. No, I'm sorry, you can't respect that level. No. That's too brutal. I'm no. still embarrassed. I'm, I'm brutally honest as the next man, but that no. shit is no, outrageous. No, no, I'm saying so. like no. I'm embarrassed if I have a dream about somebody and then I see him later. <laughs> Where I'm like, <laughs> like I didn't control that. I didn't sit down and go, okay, dream. We're gonna fuck. You tag the person girl that name. you had a dream about. Like, yeah. Yeah. That would be the most terrible thing. Like in oh, middle school, God, if right? someone like knew, like Facebook read your journal, your and they're and like, oh, they're like shit. Larry Stansfield had a wet dream about Laura. Like broke into your Facebook account and tag somebody. That'd oh, be like, God, like no. that's what I'm saying. Uh-huh. Son, the game yeah. is so much different yeah. now. So watch show. You could so, crush a motherfucker forever I, with I a wet dream. I kind of respect that kind of level of. Not like you couldn't before. Uh, but no, it's, it's no, I'm saying like no, but that's the thing. Can't run from that digital screen as as that secrecy as that private. Privacy, as that is opened up, when you got no secrets, you got you got nobody can get you. You know what though? Everyone needs you know? some secrets. You shouldn't have all your shit out there all the time. I'm with you. Real yeah. talk, just... son. Real talk. Everybody got yeah. secrets. It's foolish. So not you everything know... needs to be out there. Not you don't need to, to know everything there. about everybody. Let there. me draw a geeky parallel. Uh, the the most locked down, secret holding uh, stronghold corporate uh, would be Apple, 
right? Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, there's no company more speculated about left and right on any fucking tech blogs or even off of tech blogs. Fucking Time Magazine would probably write about them too. In fact, has many times. Um, about Apple, about like, oh, what are they doing? I hear they're making a TV. Well, they might be doing this. They might be... Because it's it's very secretive. Nobody does it about Microsoft because Microsoft's like, hey, we're working on this thing. It's totally not even begun. But like, here's what we're thinking we might do. And everybody goes, yeah, big big deal, dude. Big, big... Nobody gives a shit. Mm -hmm. And I think that to some degree, uh, some to draw a weird suck, parallel dude. between that and... I mean, I hate Microsoft anyway, but to draw a parallel between that and, for instance, like I've, I've had a lot of porn star friends because I worked, I made a lot of websites, you know what I mean? And uh, it, it's interesting to me the people I've known who didn't do porn and like they're sort of red in the face embarrassment if a titty is displayed, you know, accidentally at a party or something. They fell and a, and a nipple pops out and it's like, oh. <gasps> Oh my God! The whole world has seen my nipple, and it's like this weird shame versus like <laughs> versus like literally. I've seen that same girl six months later doing you know two hand job at the same time thing, and you're just like, like that's such a you know what I mean, and wouldn't even blink an well, eye. And about I think it. it's, it's 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 how you can. But you can't you couldn't you couldn't. For instance, we had story on here. You couldn't embarrass story if you were like, I've seen your pussy. I've seen I've seen a dick just slam it. I've seen you squirt. She's going to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that was you know, whatever chicks banging three or whatever. Okay, here's the difference. I mean, here's, here's, here's a similar thing where it's like you can control a lot uh, digitally in terms of what you have representing you. Do you know what I mean? Like you, you what, like what's out there Facebook-wise, you can be very meticulous right. about you know your digital imprint in the world today. But there still exists the opportunity for things that you never accounted for to somehow spark a tinge of embarrassment in you because you're a human being and you can never account for all vulnerabilities in your system. I remember the first time someone posted a picture of uh, the middle school basketball team I was a part of, you know, and it was like a group photo. And I was like, I was like, I saw someone tag me and I was like, what the fuck? Like, I haven't <laughs> heard that name in ages, you know? And then I saw it and I was like, Oh my God! Get your phones down, Rip <laughs> Ain't nobody friends with me in that bitch of a chat room. I kill all y'all motherfuckers. I'll defriend everybody. My point is though, did you, did like you, did I didn't unfriend anybody, but it was like that thing did of you like tag yourself? I didn't untag myself. No, it's still I can look like, it damn. Up. Okay. Just... Uh, but it's like, but like when I first saw it though, you know, I was like, right, oh, right. I was like, fucking right, because it's somebody else bringing your past. Right, but it's like, like it's oh, like middle. I was like middle no. school me. I was like, oh my god, because you just know that you're gonna have to put up with stuff. Do you know what I mean? Right, right. And and I guess that's the thing where you reach the threshold where. Where you go from being like, oh shit, this is embarrassing because I know that I'm going to have to deal with people looking at me differently and thinking of me differently than they did previously or whatever, or I'm going to have to listen to people put up with like, say, make a bunch of dumbass jokes that I have already hashed through in my sure, head and sure, try to get myself, but yeah. and see if I can endure it emotionally if I prepared myself enough for whatever they're going to unleash against me, you know? Right. But like, not everyone works through that cognitively to the point that they can. They can handle it. So I yeah, guess it's there, there is a huge difference between intentional right. uh, uh, display of private Self-inflicted embarrassment. Thing, Do you right, think versus... it's in your wall photos or your profile photos? Oh, you, you're looking at it now? <laughs> it would uh, definitely be photos from No, there's people. there's certainly a difference between oh, okay. that, and I'm not saying that, that, that privacy isn't still important and that you shouldn't, you know, sort of like out people's private matters and secrets and things like that. I'm with you there, and I'm certainly not. I'm, I'm merely saying that I think that this will be a generation of such oversharing that I almost wonder if, like, it'll be a rite of passage to, like, admit some, like... Again, we also have, in this day... Like, this podcast wouldn't have been possible seven, eight years ago, even. Um, it was completely... had never even heard of a decade ago. Uh, so, all the airwaves, so to speak... I mean, we had an internet connection, whatever, in, you know, I whatever. Most but people guess... start from, like... But what I'm saying is, like... This is a situation where do a two hour show completely uncensored. We can say, despite your protestations, otherwise we can say whatever we'd like, and uh, <laughs> nobody's going to bust wait. down the door probably. Uh, but it's two <laughs> hours. Blah, blah. To get me waiting for the anybody, bus, any a fucking fifteen year old, a thirteen year old could start a, a podcast in middle school where he just sits there and talks about for two hours all the chicks he wants to bang it out with. Now we right. don't like these are things that have probably happened that have emotionally traumatized people. I guess this is the thing where I'm like, every I guess this is what I've always had like all these things that we think about that are very abstract, like that scenario right there right. has probably played out in some school 
in some town. In plenty of places across the country, do you know? There are plenty of things like, it, like, how long did it take us to catch up to the just uh, egregious bullying that happens to LGBT teens in schools? It took right. us a very long time, yeah. and even then, we are still not really catching up to like doing anything. We've just caught up to the point that like we're willing to acknowledge it, and now they're still suffering, you know. But it's like how like we haven't caught up to the fact of like, yeah, you're right. There are people that are just fucking, you know, can, that are in a position to do whatever and emotionally terrorize kids in a high school and put out a podcast. And then when that kid goes home to their parent, what kind of fucking parent are they going home to? Are they going home to the kind of parent that can say something that we're talking about here and put it in some sort of context? Or are they going home to a parent that's too concerned about fame whoring? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? And more, and what, and the, Timmy, and I feel I'm like, not upset about your podcast, right. but you've only got 14 likes on the page right. for the right. podcast. Right. Like, that is really... one of the grossest commercials. That, that fucking AT&T or commercial or whatever, where she's like, have you seen that commercial? Where they may like, have. Where it's like a mom, a kid comes home and she's like, he's like trying to go viral. And the mom is like, oh, look at this right. kid, like doing this dumbass thing. Like, you could have got all these things or whatever. She's like encouraging like dumbassery. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> From her kid. Yeah, and you're like, this shit yeah, is yeah. gross. Do you right, know what I mean? Right. Like, it's just really gross. Well, we're all like, going to have Google dumbass, glasses, right? Like, you soon. want, like, you're fame whoring your kids out, I feel like, because that gets you on Good Morning America, and then you get to post about it to fucking friends on Facebook. Do you know? Yes, it's Chris just fucking Jenner. kids as props. Do you know? It's a, it's the, it is. I should be known as the Kardashian principle. I, I think I think I, I read something that like pleasure principle. What it's, oh. there was something about like the baby names, you know, like most popular baby names that came out or whatever. And the mm. second one in like the past couple years was Mason. That was like the number two boy's name, and it used to be like real popular a long time ago, back with like cobblestone roads and shit. But like yeah. now it's number two because I think one of the Kardashians named her kid that on the reality show. Courtney. Boom. There you go. <laughs> See? And it's shit like She's that. She's the only one with a kid. Do you know what I mean? So Where's that. the cultural check, B? Where's the cultural check? Because if we lived in a real culture, like, and it's like, we can't really blame. But why? I mean, I get, I mean, I hate to sound like a fucking, like, hippie and, you know, blame, man. But honestly, who gives a fuck? I don't give a fuck about it, but I give a fuck about it in the sense that people want to bemoan that it is like terrible that this shit is on TV, but they never want to acknowledge the fact that, like, that is why it's there is because they enjoy it. Like, it's a train wreck effect. You know, we're not having the right conversations, Mitch. I'm not saying that we are. Same principle. But, but that's that's kind of. I guess up. I'm sick of listening to a society <laughs> that like bemoans the conversation. You and I and yeah, us. I know we're we happy. are. I know right. you are. Right. But why? You but you can't you can't force people who don't want to have that conversation to sit down and have that conversation. Right. What you can do I is have it. the conversation that we're having yes. as loud as we can have it. And you fucking can... spread that message out, sure. and then more people are having this conversation and not that conversation. And yeah, yeah, I'm, there's there's the the biggest problem as far as in in the way the biggest wall holding back having that conversation, whichever conversation it might I think be, we've lost all the, the right conversation. <laughs> the, the biggest wall holding that back is there is sort of that attack on intelligence as like, well, that's elitism. We do have a very oh, you fucking burp. Why are you reading? You know what I mean? That kind of. <laughs> The old Bill Hicks joke. <laughs> what you reading for? You know? That old one. You know, that's actually the most street that you've ever probably sounded in your life. So that was real. Why are you reading? Really, yeah, I have imagine like you like rolling up on some preppy kid like oh, Zach Morris boy, yeah. outside of base. Knock it down. Yo, Yo, why are you reading? <laughs> you lost Yo, in part. this neighborhood, the chips game is out of control. <laughs> it's grand larceny. Oh, chips level. Uh, against man. the tortillas, y'all. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I, I'm just, I guess that's the thing is that, that I'm, I, I, as part of my whole thing where I'm like, I just want the I'm end of trying fight not to, to just, I'm trying not to just, <laughs> it's all I'm waiting on, baby. I'm trying not to just group, uh, arbitrary people into something and and then make it this big black cloud that I hate. Why well, gotta be a black cloud? Yeah, why doesn't I know. <laughs> Whatever, pick a color. I'm not cake. a big fan of yellow, why so let's go with yellow. Why is Angel Foods cake white? Why is right. Devil's Food cake chocolate? See? Because it's better. <laughs> it's tempting like the devil is. Oh, so not only are you better, but we the devil, huh? Okay, <laughs> see? You just got two in one. No, you, the, what, are you cashing in? This is like the problem. Uh, I take huge issue with the Bible for a number of reasons, but the devil is not huge necessarily. Issue with you, you racist. The devil is not necessarily like we got to yeah, listen. The devil is really when you get down to it, all the things you want, like all the time. Freedom. 
Yeah. <laughs> and then you, but then you're like, well, but if you just always have it, then there's just no self restraint. And then you have, you know, the fucking four year old that weighs 190 pounds at McDonald's going, you gonna eat that? You can't put like, that on that kid's you, like, you gonna put that on the four year old's No, son? no. You gonna put that on that four year old? No, I'm not. I I'm merely not I'm know anything. Knew, I know that. He came into the but world. That's what happens when you just let it, Dude. when you just let the shit, you know, take over. You know what I mean? What? Now, I'd like to just sit here in my apartment all day jerking off and getting drunk but I wouldn't be able to afford my apartment if I did that you see what I'm saying so I was like yeah but you only work it you only work it until you can afford to do that and then you'll do it so what is your point son you got no point man. no no my point is he's got a goal I got a goal he's got a goal yeah. Yeah. what happens when you reach that goal the he's devil content. wins I probably wouldn't come over without knocking first I'll tell you that right now <laughs> He's content and reached all the of his devil, goals. The devil, I mean, you know. the devil is dancing tonight. That's what that's what Nancy Grace would say about you when you reach your goals. Fucking fine by me. Whatever, man. Maybe that's my goal. Actually, no, I wouldn't want to just jerk off and get drunk. I'd, I'd want to have an orgy and get drunk. I mean, if we're just talking about goals, I'm just saying that's what I'd end up I'm doing. You like real time, like it's nice. To if know I were lazy, the if I, I was like, okay, no, let me, let me break a lack it of down. goals, like, a his... lack of goals would just be no. drinking and jerking off. No, that's a lack of goals. That's like a, to us. <laughs> that's literally the laziest thing you could do. Well, Mitch's head is just was, get drunk and jerk off. I like your inner self was critiquing you as you spoke. Yeah, well, I mean, was like, wait a minute, you low achieving son of a bitch. You can do better than that. It's your goal. Your goal is to be by yourself. You gotta get some other people in here. And I need more cats, man. <laughs> on a bigger you, couch. How many do you have? Just the booster? Just one. Just oh, one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Too many. I have one. She's 18, blind. Wow. Are you, so you're, are you a cat or blind? She's blind. Now, yeah. when did she go blind? About a year ago. Okay. She's 17. Have you had her the whole 18 was she, years? Yeah. Is she lethargic yeah. now or no, is she still like. She's crazy. Still crazy? That's what good. Is she crazy? What a blind cat. I know. Is that, that must be dangerous. She cock blocked me not too long ago and I don't really have a baby gate. <laughs> 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 so I had to use like a surfboard long story. Anyway, I worked it out. But no, she went blind about a year ago and she just walks into stuff all the time, you know. But she also, like, I thought she was going to die at Thanksgiving. Knock on wood, she didn't. But then okay. I started giving her this food that literally kind of brought her back to life. It's like really? it's for canines or felines, and it's the kind of that you get as a prescription either right before the cat dies or right after the cat's born isn't eating off the mother. It's crazy. It smells like disgust, but That's all of a crazy. sudden, wait, what? So it's she like she turns into this. She's into, she's a different cat. She's a can of so, this a day. It's two dollars a can. Wow. Yeah, and you know how rich comics are. Yeah. yeah. So, so how, right how often yeah. do you have to feed that to her? I give her a can a day. I break it down like two or three different times. Yeah. Did you, well, do you smoke cigarettes? No. Did you used to? No. Okay. I was going to say, like, if you gave up smoking to so feed your what cat, is, then, what is this stuff then it would like them? even it would sort of right, balance out, right, you know? Yeah. I give it to you. <laughs> yeah. What uh, I can't have if no more. What, so wait, what is this stuff? It's like stuff that they get. It's, it's a prescription, like, canned food. And but it's, it's like what they get as, as little kittens? Yeah. Like, well, from the mother? They, they, they harvest it from the mothers? Or crack. I mean, <laughs> right. apparently. Yes. I went in to buy it from, Kitten the, crack. from the store, and you have to have a prescription for it. And I was like, I don't know. My cat really loves it. And the guy's like. opium? <laughs> the guy was like, yeah, animals love innards. And I was like, oh, my God, I just threw up in my mouth. Because <laughs> it's, you know, disgusting. But she's right. a can a day, and wow. she's like... It is yeah. kind of gross what animals like, bro. Real talk. Like, I know we civilize and we no, not I that know, far away, but, like, I'm, not, I'm I'm intelligent enough to know that shit is mad gross. Yeah, no, I'm with you. No, I, the same thing with my snake eats. It's the most disgusting thing. I'm what like, is that it? rat just shit here? all over you. Is there a snake here? Because I just, I'm like, just hearing no, about that. A, no, at the a, way a, other a, end of the apartment, in thing, another it's in bedroom. Thing, it's okay. It's all right. Don't worry about it. It's all right. You say, you see how big Amy's eyes got right now? It's feet away. This shit happened. This is a, oh, Lord. Other end of the world. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Look, I've picked one up before. It's okay. I've touched a snake, but I just need to know if it's in the building. I That's mean, all. don't worry about it. There's a, there's probably all kinds of things in the building. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like the Aztec man in the basement yeah. in the parking lot. Aztec God. man in the basement. What, what, what that sounds that? much worse than a guy who customized his Rolls Royce yeah, in the parking not garage. Anything like what it actually is. At yeah, all. yeah. Good. Oh my God. There's, what? A, there's a guy who parks in my parking garage who has a Rolls Royce that's been like G'd out and customized. It says Aztec across the, the like as a window them. sticker. Which Low is not, by the way, down. the Aztec man no, in the basement. Amy makes it sound like there's a fucking full-blooded apocalypto. Hey, hey where you going? Yeah, like, like a dude, like, I just imagine, like, You want to make some that? spears with the Aztecs you or what? You haven't lived here that on? long. You don't know what's down I there. used just, to live here. I just imagine, like, opening an elevator and just, like, seeing, like, one Aztec in the corner. Just, like, the last Aztec <laughs> in the world. Just, like, like, 
if I'm going out this bitch, you three is dead. <laughs> like, we we got a podcast to do. All right, fine. Tomorrow it is. <laughs> You, you go do your podcast. Say what you it. will about them Aztecs, but they understand it. They understand it. To the death. All right. All right. To the cool. Death. Cool. Yo, yo, can I get a shout out on that? Yeah, you're right. Tell, tell them about the Aztec man in the Shout out to the world class <laughs> Aztec. You full of bloodlust, but you mad understanding, though. I'm excited about this because the thing is, my cat is 12 years old and he's still psychotic and runs around the apartment at 100 yeah. miles an hour, even though he weighs a lot. But I took him, I had, there was a fire in my uh, two apartments Thanks. ago. Uh, in the kitchen and, and through the through the basement sort of I guess there was like a storage area beneath my apartment but oh, beneath okay. the complex and it lit up and it and it burnt part of my kitchen uh, whatever not a biggie but it melted the electric wires for the entire complex so I had to move <laughs> like that day um, uh-huh. meanwhile my cat's you know running around in all this soot and everything and uh, and he was coughing a lot and I was like really you know worried I'm like he's 12 years old and right you know, yeah with the coffin. And uh, so I took him to the vet, and I said, it's been a while since he had a vet visit. And I took him in, and I said, you know, I smoke, like, almost two packs a day, or I used to. And I said, uh, uh, indoors. And I've had him as an indoor cat for, you know, at the time, I guess it was 11 years or something, 10 years. So, um, and I was like, I'm, now I'm kind of worried about his lungs more so than ever before, because I had just quit smoking. Uh, no, that's not true. Um Anyway, so with the coughing and everything else, and I was really worried. so I took him in, and they were like, "No, he's fine." I was like, "He's not too fat. His he's okay." He's Brady? a big guy. He's got huge paws. Oh, I know he's got those big ass. The thing is, he's really he's self conscious about those paws. If you try to touch oh, him, he I gets did. like he gets yeah. he's like, "Hey, hey he's in my like he's really yeah, like, hey, what are you talking about paws for?" Um, it's the weirdest thing about him. Otherwise, you could just like flop him over your shoulder, and he's like, "Whatever, I don't oh, care." But like, you touch his paws, and he's like, "Hey, hey, hey, hey now." Hey now. Um, anyway, so they said he was cool. They they tested his lungs and everything. Okay. Gave him a breathing test. They were like, "Yeah, he's gonna be calm for a while because he's just had soot on his fur." And they're like, "We can give him a bath." I was like, "I don't want you to get scars. <laughs> yeah. I still have them. I'll just let him roll around on the carpet. I don't give a fuck." It it was a temporary apartment anyway. I was like, "Let him, you know." And he's fine. But I do, you know. Yeah. I never really think about his health, but I started to when I was like, "Well, he's 12 years old now. He weighs like 17 pounds." They were like, "He's a little overweight, but he's not fat." Like, right. So it's good to know. 18 yeah. years, and the yeah. worst thing is just that she's blind, she but she's blind. otherwise okay. She's totally fine. Yeah, and I didn't even take her to the That's vet good. when she went blind because I was like, "Well, I figured it out. I didn't really need a vet for that." <laughs> it's you pretty know easy I mean? diagnosis. I was like, "I got this." She starts walking into stuff. So yeah, but she's indoors. She didn't, you know, she's like five, six pounds, but she's. Oh, wow. Small yeah, she's a little tiny thing, little huh? thing. Yeah, but yeah, she's still jumping around. Yeah, she's good to go. Indoor cats can go for a long time. I should know. Is that the rule? <laughs> <laughs> I love I've been that, I love that for fucking. A while. That was amazing. That fucking look at that. I should know. Yeah, I, I feel like that's when like that old school Carson like camera like well, that's wah, a man. Wah, that's so wah. good. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, I had a yeah, drop had for a that, and now I don't remember what it is. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, yeah. Go ahead and do it again. I should know. Oh, wait, what was I saying? The- oh, 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 right. I should know. <laughs> nice, nice. No, I don't know. Yeah. What do you guys make of this? So I, because everyone knows I have a blind cat if we're Facebook friends, and now you guys know for sure. Right. Um, now, we're, now I know for sure. Now yeah. I know for sure. And I have it in my act and stuff. But I had a, a guy friend of mine that we've made out in the past. Uh, multiple okay. different times he sends me a text on Saturday night at 11.40 p.m. that says mm. how did your cat go blind? Wait, what time? 11.40 in the p.m.? Yeah. With how did your cat go blind? Mm-hmm. And you're now wondering what <laughs> right? does that mean? What does that mean? What does no, that no. mean? No, because it was like it was Why like, would he do that? No, no, no. Because the funniest thing is any other guy I would think oh, are, are you interested in talking late night right now? Right. But this guy is a virgin. So that's like the opposite booty call, right? Uh, well, I was, I was, actually, so that dude I was did, originally. Like, that dude had like spent like a really long time working that. <laughs> I know, like, this I is how you so. know. Like, I know yeah, what yeah. that dude went through. He spent I don't days think so. consumed by the no, question. No, no, I'm, with, and I'm then, with Teddy on this And then he tried to wrap his Teddy mind around nothing. every possible scenario. <laughs> and this is, and I'm, but I'm with him on this one. <laughs> yeah. He tried to wrap his mind around every possible because scenario. Because there's two. Go blind. He researched it, and then finally no. he was like, "I know that she's going to think this is a really weird thing." Right, right. But I can't get no peace. 
Right. Unless I ask mm. the question. Mm. And even if she don't answer, at least I done pull through what I need to go through. <laughs> to, to, put, to put a few more sprinkles on that cake, I was going to go, there's, now, had you not said the virgin thing, there's, there's one of the two possibilities. Either he was like, uh, I'm hanging out with this chick, and she's, got, and she's worried about her cat going blind. And like, <laughs> I know a girl <laughs> whose cat went blind. Let me get some information for you. <laughs> Right, like, which is which is like I've done that, right? like I'm that guy. I like like, I was like, I like, hey Teddy, remind me again. <laughs> <laughs> like you've gotten those texts at like 1 a.m. from me where I'm like, hey, no, I want to bother you, but real quick, yeah. what was that thing the other day about the? Because yeah. yeah. I'm with somebody and they're wondering about anyway. Yeah. Hey Teddy, I'm quick, t- what's it like to be a black man? Yeah, I, mean, I get that way. Because I'm with this girl who's, you know, I, mean, I do wake up some days. Just came out of Berkeley and she's never met iPhone. a black guy, but she talks about him a yeah. bunch. Like she's like brothers Feel with him it. and shit. So, like, what's it like to be a black guy? That's a dude? fair so hypothesis. Like, I'll right. give you that. Uh, the other one is is definitely where he's going, which is like, but I think, Tortured. and I think, Tortured. I think the, end, uh, the 1140 is like, he's like, well, she probably won't think it's that weird because she's either really high or drunk. So, this is banking. probably not going to be that weird. On. He really was yeah. banking on that. He really was banking. Yeah. I don't think you can like understand Saturday, how much thinking went midnight. behind it. It's like, almost definitely. Like, literally, the, that's what's whole, going on. the whole existence yeah. of the text. Wraps up as neatly as possible with a bow yeah, on it. How yeah. much thinking went into it? Because he thought about that text. He's like, "I, I realize I'm gonna send the text Friday at three thirty-seven in the PM, but I gotta right, wait. Right. You understand? Because yeah, yeah. it's too early mm. in the weekend. She yeah. might not be in the no. plans yet. But then Saturday, she middle of the day, she'd be having brunch. She's not right. gonna get back to yeah, about Saturday that afternoon, shit. Mm-hmm. You might be taking a power nap because you're about to be going <laughs> out she later. She texts back know. at eleven forty PM know. on Saturday night. She ain't got no plans, right? but she might be drunk. Or if she's oh, drunk, she's not gonna get the message, and mm. then she's gonna see it on Sunday, and then she'd be like, "Oh, that's funny," because I'm still kind of hungover because I had so much fun Saturday <laughs> when I sent the text strategically, and then my plan has succeeded. Now, <laughs> now let's not bury the lead. You know a virgin that you've made out with. Now. Yes. <laughs> 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 That needs to be a new segment yeah. of Straight Ribbon. Let's, <laughs> Let's not, not bury the lead. And now... Oh, oh you want to do it. Oh, I do it. Gonna, oh, you do it. Oh, go, Mitch. You want, you you want to do it? Second, okay. Mitch, please go. It's yours. And now it's time for Don't Bury the Lead. We have to work on that. We have to work oh, on that. You know what? We need a little bit oh, more dating oh, game, I think. Here we go. Sorry. Here we go. Don't bury the lead. There we go. A little bit we'll more epic. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I had the effects turned down a bit. Okay, Mitch. Yeah. Yeah. So... Oh, uh, this yeah. is not a guy like you're seeing. This you said this is like a friend of yours. Yeah, it's What's... like a friend randomly, maybe four times over the last. Met him online. Four years? No, no. no? Friends of friends, kind of a thing. And, Does he uh, drink? Some, not much. Why mm. does this all of a sudden feel like yeah. a detective noir? Hold on, I want to know because I. No, I think this it's is just, curious. You, know, you it's found just, one like it's. I, yeah, I didn't know. In that. L.A., I mean, come well, on. Well, you know, it's well. I, f- I found out. I didn't know he was. No, I didn't. I didn't assume you went looking for one. No, but I also didn't know he was like the. First Nobody goes looking for a four leaf clover <laughs> either. But sometimes it ends up on your shoe, and you're like, "Holy shit! I gotta tweet this." I didn't, I didn't know every he day. was. So he told you. He, no, he didn't. Oh. I found out. We made out a couple times, and then here's the. We ain't gonna tell her that he'd been thinking about cat. cat I so thought much. he didn't try Touché. anything, and I was like, "Oh my god, he's a gentleman. He likes me." That's what I thought. <laughs> But then I was at a gay wedding. And We've I made out it. three times, and he hasn't even tried to just start jerking off in the middle of like a makeout session, or <laughs> just must, just abuse my whole chest, must be foreign. like forcibly <laughs> rip my shirt in half. And I definitely, I wore knew. my tore, tear away shirt tonight too. I mean, I thought for sure. And I, there was never, and he definitely isn't, wasn't, never anything related to gay. So I didn't think that at all. But I was like, oh my god, I think he really likes me. Right. So I, I was, I was wrong on that front. But then I was at a gay wedding. I ran into a friend of a friend. She told me she made out with him. I'm like, I. I made out with him. She told me he was a virgin. I started laughing. I'm like, that makes sense. Cut to, I saw him about six months ago and I asked him if he was still holding on to his B card. Oh, both. The answer is yes. Move. No, we're friends. We're friends. What did he say? He said yes. He was all cool yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's waited cool. this Kicking long. It. He's totally fine with it. He doesn't advertise it necessarily. I will say, I can but remember. But then he's the only person I can get a text from that I've made out with at 11.40 night who is not trying to sleep with me. That's That would be Because he has a legitimate uh, question to be answered. <laughs> I wouldn't it's be, a legitimate uh, query. Yeah, Please. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't be so sure about that one, but oh, there is a weird thing because I can probably remember. probably was watching Science Channel or something. I can remember when I was when I was in high school. <laughs> Animal Planet. And when I was in high school and like I had most of my friends had, had sex and I had done all, all except for sex. And uh, and there was this girl I was, I was uh, messing around with I was like seventeen, and she was she was like twenty five. 
And, shit. Uh, what up, Chris Hansen? That's yeah. some sacred shit. Where are you from? <laughs> yeah. Phoenix, where that happens. You know, he'd be like, Mitch, have a seat over, on the stool. He's like, no, oh, I'm the one who's being <laughs> exploited. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. You're funny. Yeah. Have yeah. a seat. Uh-huh. And then uh, uh, I'm going to have to ask you for a high five. <laughs> Wait, uh, let's not so, bury the lead. You were yeah. 17 to a 25 year old. I think that's that's And now that's it's at. time for Don't Bury the Lead. <laughs> oh my that's, God. That might be a better way to do it. I like that. It's a little more game showy. <laughs> I like bit, it. Yeah. Um, no, I, what I'm saying, so I, she. <laughs> I don't care anything except about you dating a 25 year old. Bro, she was real. She was real. Everything else is a road. She was real cool. And I remember at the time, I remember going like, I remember thinking to myself, wow, she just like goes for it. Like, there's no, I don't have to convince her. It's a good idea. There's no like, there's no like, oh, maybe I'll, meet? maybe I'll touch a nipple. How'd you meet? How'd, yeah. How'd you meet? Church. She was doing a guitarist in a band I was doing performance art for. Your perform- okay. What um, kind of performance let's art? Let's go back to performance art. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. I, Leia by Leia. Boom. Boom. I would uh, Leia. the onion wheeze is peeling. They were like a dark goth industrial band and I would go up on stage in like a cod piece and and like what color? Black. Okay. Of course. Yeah, sadness. And uh <laughs> and I I wear like fishnets and stuff and I just like I would fishnets? I like I'd like pour candles on myself or I'd like cut Ricky myself Martin, or, I'd, Vita Loca wax or like I I just do things like I'd beat myself up with like equipment on the stage or I'd they had like a blow up doll. The the singer had this blow up doll that he 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 strapped to the uh, to the mic stand, and so I'd take it away from him and be like, "Yeah, this is mine." You know, I was like the gimp, or whatever. So we just have fun with that. But anyway, so she was banging out with the guitarist or whatever, and she wanted to take some photos of me. Um, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. So she was a photographer, and yeah. uh, and I thought she was hitting on me like after a show one time, and I was like, "Hey, all right." I felt so cool, like. This fucking chick, man. I think she's an older broad. Like she looked, she didn't look like she was in high school. I'm she imagining seventeen year old Mitch talking to himself right, right. as a pep talk, me and like, yeah, this no, older fact, broad. No, no, no. <laughs> I talked to uh, the the drummer who's just elderly who's still dame. a friend of mine over in Phoenix. Uh, Get a drummer. I son. talked to the drummer and I was like, hey, uh, I was like, dude, this chick was like, I want to take photos of him. I was like, I think, uh, you know, and he's laughing. And he's like, yeah, yeah, that's cool, man. I'm like, and I at the, at the time didn't see why he was laughing. Because I realized later that obviously he saw her talk to me and was like, "Oh God, that's Mick's uh, girlfriend there," and uh, so I was like, "Yeah," and he's like, "Yeah, man." Oh. <laughs> and uh, then uh, I saw Mick, and Mick was like the young bachelor guy of the band, and like all oh, the chicks wanted to bang out with Mick. So Mick walks up, and I was like, "Mick, man, hey, good show. We had a better day. And I was like, "I gotta tell you." And then she walks up, and he's like, "Hey, have you met? Your name was <gasps> Kelly." He was like, "You met Kelly?" And I was like. Yeah. We may have talked. We may have... <laughs> oh, how long was your moment? Yeah. <laughs> how long? About twelve seconds. Oh. Really, yeah. It's okay. No, because so then... so then she so then she called me up like a week later, wanted to like make plans for this photo shoot or whatever the hell have you. And she brought me over to her apartment. She was showing me her portfolio, which included a lot of naked photos of herself. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sounds about right. Naturally. Yeah. Naturally. <laughs> True predator awesome. style. Awesome. And I was like, I have a seat on the stool. And I, I remember <laughs> sitting there going, like, these are also really well, really well shot photos. Did you say that out loud? Like, oh no, I said these are. I was like, these are awesome. Can these we walk really... through? Can you just, just give trying, me a little I'm bit? Trying. I just want to hear. I, just I was like, I really like. I, I said, I really like. Uh, I really like this one. I like. I mean, this is a really high contrast. Were you black sitting and next white. to each other? I, by the way, I knew Photoshop, so like, I knew photo terms, and I was also in photography class, so I, knew, I like. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, of course, because that's how you're gonna. I was like, the I like the bro. depth of field on this particular. Yeah, I could say depth of field. I could use high contrast. You know, things like Ooh, this. Oh, a sepia yeah, effect. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, did you shoot this in infrared? Oh, where do you find a lens like that? Or did you just buy the chemicals after the fact? How about I take you on a tour of my dark room? So I'm trying to, I'm trying to just be cool, and then you know, I'd go five, six photos, and then just like titties, just just titties, nothing else, and I was like. That was strategic. And I, mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. Maybe, and I remember thinking to that. myself, like, probably, how, yeah. mm-hmm. to this day, actually, I still don't know how I'm supposed to react other than go, fucking sweet rack, dude. And at the time, I was like, mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. What was the next picture? Because you were looking at I don't at know, a, just you like know. A, a field or something. No, I really know. didn't. I was like, at this point, I was like looking at the ceiling going, okay, you just gotta pretend I did not just see gotta make her through. fucking titty. Because <laughs> she's like standing right next to me. I'm like, no, she's standing up, yeah. So, whatever, we talked and shit like that. And then one. 
And then one night she just like kind of called me out of the blue and she was whining about Mick and something or other and how he had like this economy box of condoms under his bed, which at the time I was like, what a scum. And now I'm like, hey, thinking ahead, that's my kind of guy. Because I do that too. I have become my enemy. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, uh, I didn't mean to get into this whole story, but whatever. Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, you did. Can't so just then, gloss over this so one. then we, we were hanging fuck out. What you mean? And she was like, she was like, well, let's go to a bar. Uh, let's let's just hang out. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, I can't go to a bar. And I just thought like people do that. You just go hang out at bars. Well, where is that? We can go to Denny's, and you know, uh, I didn't start <laughs> drinking until a few years ago. So I mean. Uh, so I, I was like, yeah, okay, we can hang out. And we were kicking it. And somehow we got on a discussion of, uh, of, uh, Natural Born Killers, the movie Natural Born Killers. And I was like, yeah. you still haven't seen that? Cause that came out, you know, that 93 like 93 right? yeah, yeah, 93, 94. So. And this is like 96, 97. And I was like, uh, and I was like, you haven't, how have you not seen Natural Born Killers? And she's like, well, you know, I've been busy. She also had a kid. I should point that out. <laughs> but, uh, but it wasn't, she was very responsible. She, she had a babysitter and everything. No, she was, wait, hold on. Yeah, you were 17 she had a, in high school dating a woman. I wasn't, a now hold what on. What time period Let did me this, get how in. long did this chronology I did, I did something similar. It's cool. Listen. All the leads is resurrected tonight, <laughs> baby. I will explain. I'm Necromancers, sp- rise up. I will, because I'm, I'm gonna, because that becomes a, an issue later. But anyway, so I said you haven't seen Natural Born Killers, so we went to go see Natural Born Killers, or not went to go see, but I, we rented it from Blockbuster or whatever. And we're back at her apartment, uh, just the two of us, no mm-hmm. kids around, I really and uh, like we're this, watching I like the real like old school seventies. Like we're watching the uh, <laughs> we're watching I the movie, like and there. I remember uh, this. By the way, like I I've told you many times, like I I'm fucking I'm terribly blind and like picking up signals when I when a chick like digs me. Because I have this, like, I'll initially think everybody digs me, <laughs> but then, like, but then, like, you got like a broken radar. But yeah, but then, but then everyone's feeling me. Damn. But but like yeah, but All then like again. right when I Just right when, it and drinking. This is my goal. <laughs> it would be like it would be like this. Like if you if you said if you were like I'm I'm fucking sure I left my keys in the bathroom. Like that's the last place I put them. My keys are definitely in the bathroom. And you're confident keys in the bathroom. And somebody was like, keys in the bathroom? And like, gun to your head, keys in the bathroom. You're like, no, no, they're not. They're, I don't know where they are. So that's sort of like, I think everybody digs me. But when it comes down to it, I'm like, I actually have no idea. Probably probably they don't like me at all. Probably they, probably I'm a gross perp. Very, very that's my brain. in your bravado. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> so I Shout was in- out to Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got to get to that. Um... So so anyway, uh, uh, so I'm sitting there on our floor, or whatever, and we're watching the movie, and we're kind of we got pillows, and we're watching, and I and uh, and my I was drinking a glass of water, and I it kind of fell, and one of the ice cubes hit her leg, and I was like, hey, isn't that funny? It's cold, you know, like so I'm kind of like dripping cold to hear ice. Seventeen year old here, <laughs> Mitch goes, I'm not fine. Look at you go. <laughs> so I'm. Uh, <laughs> I could do the effect. <laughs> no, 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 so, no, no. Uh, that was perfect. So I'm, I'm, perfect, I'm dri- now I'm like dripping the cold ice like on her, just as like a doom, like, isn't it cute and really funny? And then, uh, and then I, I don't know, started rubbing it kind of up and down her body and this whole thing. And then I got to like the pants area and I slipped my hand under there with the ice cube still like under my palm, and then I just let go. And I was like, yeah, and I, and I, <laughs> and I went back to watch the movie, and I thought like, and I thought like, all right. So that was that was some fun, like kidding around, whatever. And then I was like, I was sitting there going, like, I wonder oh, if I could, man. I wonder if I could make out with this chick. Like, I wonder. This older. Bro. She probably just, mm-hmm. she probably just let me do that. You know what I mean? I know now, women don't just let you do that. Uh, but at the time, I was like, maybe she's just like, whatever. Let him have his fun with his fucking ice cube. <laughs> right. So I'm sitting there watching the movie, and I'm, I'm realizing after about a minute of watching the movie, that she's just been staring at me. Like practically head on my shoulder for like a minute solid since the ice cube happened, and I was like, what "The fuck is she looking at?" So I kind of turned my head and I was like, "Nothing over there," and I went to turn to say, "What are you looking at?" <laughs> and I said, "What?" And then she just started making out with me, mouth tack. Because "what" is a good you. is a good uh, ah oh, started the make out. She knew, bro. And then she just immediately was like, "You got pants off of this, and let's take these titties out." And I was like, "Dude, awesome! I can play with titties." And she was like, "I'm gonna stroke this and put that in here." And and I was just like, 
oh my god, I can't wait to be 25. If this is girls have got it, like there's no messing around. I don't have to sit there and go, is it okay if I touch a movie? <laughs> like this chick got it down and and you had no what, idea. You had no idea. The whole reason I got into this whole thing, I really hope that was an entertaining story because I, I'm sorry, wow. but uh, the whole reason welcome, I get into this is because I uh, did not have sex with her. Thanks, and she was like, she was like on top of me and everything, and she's, you know, pants are off of both of us, and she's like playing around and kind of aiming it, and I was like, hey, let's let's not do that, okay? Let's let's ixnay on putting that inside of anything down there if we can just, mm-hmm. you know. And she's like, I have condoms. I was like, yeah, yeah, I know. And I was like, I just, uh, you're not gonna believe me, but I literally said, I just, uh, I don't want, ha- I don't want you having that. I was like, I don't Wait. want, I don't want you having that power, Wait. like over me. I Wait. don't want. I don't, what did you tell? I, her? Did you tell? I said her? I don't you want you say, having. I don't want you having that power. power. I meant to say power, but I mean you yes. told you. Basically I said I don't told want her. you having that power, because I didn't want. I didn't want somebody to be like, yeah, I took that. Mm. You know, I didn't want anybody to have that that hadn't ever had it. So you like flat out told her, like, like yeah, yeah. Old, I'm not having sex with you because I don't want to forever know that you are the person who did this. No, thing. no, no. I didn't want anyone to have like that over me. Yeah, that's what so I'm saying. So the first girl that I had sex with, I was her first, as far as I know. But you wanted uh, to, yeah. But I didn't want yeah. anybody but to you be were like very blunt. I didn't you want to be like, yeah. Blunt, I, I went around looking for. I found this boy. I took it. You know what I mean? Like oh, I wanted. You, did, you tried to stop the prey. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah you, are, like, you got preyed on, son. You I'm got like, don't, on. don't. You don't get that power. Well, no, it, it worked out pretty well. But then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> did you know we banged it out. We banged it out. We. Fucking finger banged it out or whatever the hell. <laughs> we messed around for a little while there afterwards, but I didn't really like. I wasn't really, you know. I was like, whatever. And then one time I was because I, at the time I worked at the mall. And one time she showed up with the kid in a stroller, hey, and I was like, "That's hot." Uh, for listen, real. girl, we gotta have a talk. This isn't working, you know. And that whole thing. She's like, "I'm not asking you to be a dad or anything. I'm just wondering if you want to come over and get your dick sucked." And I was like, "Listen, I'm just." Did she saying, actually say that? Yeah, and I was like, "Listen, I'm just saying. Uh, this is. Uh, I'm not comfortable with. I can't give the you that baby power. Thing. Yeah. Well, it was also, no one girl should have all that power. Well, by that point, I'd already fucked somebody. So okay. Well, no, it's all. I got that taken care of. You know, that was top priority after that. But anyway, so Virgin oh, guy wow. might be in that same thing where he's like, he doesn't want anybody to kind of like have that over yeah, him. Yeah, you know what? It's his thing. It's fine, but it's just funny because I feel like that's like the one guy that will text me kind of later in the evening and nope, not necessarily trying to hook up for that. Right. You know? Is that is that's that? A, that's what I would think. Is that like a, because you know, it's kind of funny. So late night, like that late night text thing, I feel like the late night booty call thing has always been a weird thing. Late night booty chirp. <laughs> which is like, if you have that whole roster of people where you're like, all right, listen, roster. like, wait, you know what I'm saying? Where you're like, listen, I've got a list. I just send out a mass text. What's my my up? group. What's up? Hold on, let me pull up you Saturday's starting lineup. <laughs> or I guess at least like that person where you're like, here is your 2012 <laughs> booty call starting lineup. We've got one leg, Susie, and no, Double D, Deborah. And the jump off position. Oh, jump like, off. Ah, I just learned about yeah, jump that, off. That you have. Know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you'd have. That'd be a great thing to assemble a roster. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. Uh, a roster, that'd be jump off. Best, come up with all the best rap slangs for that thing. That'd be great. Uh, mm. My point, I digress. Yeah. So like, and <laughs> pinch hitting. Girl with the buck teeth. All right, sorry. Uh, um, oh, Mitch. Mm. Um, yeah. But like, that person where you're like, listen. Watch out for a <laughs> funky vagina. You've taken it in the oh, sorry. Deep throater. Coming out swinging. Well, now you've taken us like single A, like jump off. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, Look, I'm just telling you, if you're going to have a starting lineup, everybody's got to have their strengths and no, weaknesses, right? All right, listen. My, my thing is that like, but you have that person where you. She's you talk only 5 foot 1, but she'll suck a. No, I'm sorry. Golf ball through a garden hose. All right, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. So you're talking about the late night I'm booty sure text. I'm sure you've had this person. Like you get a text from them, like at night, and you're like, I know that, like, because it's the flip side. What you're saying, like, if I get a communication from you, right? I know that it is explicitly you saying, no matter what the words on the phone say, this is you telling me, hey, what's up with the sex? <laughs> I'll be, I'll be. You know what I'm saying? I've never been what's there. What's the wishing hour? What, what, what's the time? Is it past like? 
I've and heard this is like, like I don't I, know. This I is not a world that I have no concept of, I but I know it exists. Yeah, I seriously, like, to this day, I I still do not get those signals. Like if I get a text at at those times, Ripopolis, like, the late hours of time? Friday, Saturday night, I'm thinking. I just always go like, oh, what have they been up to? Like I, for whatever reason, my brain is just not. Like I've literally, I had a, time had a girl call me like an ex one time. In fact, so it's like she didn't have to be coy or whatever. <laughs> and she had, she, we had been broken up for like two years or something like that. And she had, she had called me to talk about whatever the fuck I don't remember what it was. And, and we got into this long conversation for like 30, 40 minutes. And uh, and I was actually celibate for that month. And um, uh, and and she goes, oh, you're celibate right now. And I was like, yeah. And she goes. Ah. Why didn't you tell me that in the beginning? Uh-huh. And I was like, what? When I picked up the phone, just, hey, I'm celibate. She goes, this is a booty call. I was like, oh. yeah. is that what? She's but... like, why else would I call you at 11 o'clock on a Friday? I was like, you know, I hadn't actually. Get... I'm terrible at figuring. I don't I, You do the booty text well, thing? You ever done that? I've done that. I've, I've been through phases with that type of thing. Yeah, now, what, yeah, what but... time do you, do you, I mean, do you make it obvious? Like, hey, let's. No, no, no. Let's put no. things in. Let's no, I put tab probably, A and slot B. I probably set the stage in the afternoon. I probably yeah. set the stage in the afternoon just to put it out as a possibility. I'd probably go that route. I like, hey, say. if you're not busy tonight. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm right. here and here. What are you up to? Kind of a thing. Sure. I, okay. I would put yeah. that out in the afternoon. More of like a. Yeah, I've gotten those. Yeah. yeah. Th- those are. I'm yeah. fine with those. I'm talking about the late night when I get. No, like, we're talking. Ain't no sun in the sky. Can't see no stars for all the pollution. Yeah, Shout I, out to I the Los really Angeles just people. No, uh... I'm t- like, but you know what I mean? Like, like you like like you text somebody at eleven forty six at night, and you just like, hey, what you doing? You right, know what I mean? Like, you know, like that, that's the shit I'm talking about. And I know like plenty of people who have had right. that shit before. You know, and I'm just like, it's so weird to me because well, like it's basically it's just because like... sometimes I genuinely just wanted to like talk to them or like whatever, and I'm like, what? And it's like, oh, <laughs> right, you think, oh, because I've never actually booty texted Mitch anybody. Adams, I've never like, booty called know? or booty texted anybody. Because I guarantee ever. if you texted, as weird if that as that person, might sound. Like if that person texted you and they're like, hey, they're like, hey what are you up to? And, then, and you were like, yeah, I want to have sex. And they would be like, hey, whoa, hey, what the fuck, man? And you, you know, and right. you'd be like, but I don't do no, that. Okay. Again, and that's, I don't that do that. what we're doing? I just, going on? I just have we're a normal conversation. Ahead. They have Not to. Not you. I'm talking about oh, everybody else. Oh, do we, what, do have we you, what do you do? What do you do? Somebody we'll else. We'll say something like, hey, I'd like to see you later. What's up? Where are you? Are you around? Are yeah. you working? Yeah. I'm here and But why don't you just you cut know, to the chase? Why don't you just cut to the chase, though? One of the other dudes you were saying, if anybody else at 1140 would have asked about your cat. Right, right. Somebody else at 1140 asked about my What would your response have been? Just like, are you. Well, we can talk about my cat in bed, or what? I mean, what would you respond with? No, well, I had another text. Said, "What are you up to oh. tonight?" And I was like, "Oh, I'm at a birthday party. What about you?" And like, "Oh, just leaving." Blah blah blah. And then I just kind of let it slide. Now is I'm at a birthday party. What about you? Is that a no? Um, or is that a comeback with a better offer? How do you like? Uh, how do you set it yeah, up yeah. so that you let them know? In my head, that it's sounds all like abstract, right? In, in my head, that sounds like come back with a better offer. Yeah, I, I well, you know, it was like, "Hey, what are you up to?" Right. Tonight, and then I wrote back at a friend's birthday, and then right. I'm like, what about you? And then he told me what he was up to, and then I left it at that. He's like, he was just leaving his thing, and I just kind of, I just let it slide. That's I was, that was, but I would say the onus was on you as the initiator of said booty call. Yeah. You got to mm-hmm. follow up. You know what I mean? The if onus someone volleys, is on the if booty someone initiator. Volleys back, right, if someone maybe. doesn't volley back with a outright invitation, right. you know, because, as again, there's no real, like, it's subtext, but it's not subtle subtext. Well, sometimes it is. Like, sometimes I'll Again, look. to me it is. I, I can show you actual what turns. It's not subtext turn... for you, but it's obtuse text. Well, <laughs> what I'm saying is that, that, what I'm saying is, like, I've got actual text messages that later people go, Come that, was, sex a, that was a booty text. We could go through like, your phone really? and right. we could tell you. Here's no, the I'm, thing. I'm okay. If you've hooked up with someone before and they're sending you a text maybe after See, 11, and that's what I'm 11, saying, 30, Mitch, you got no context clues. Perhaps. It's a booty call. Not always, maybe. Not always. I Ratio, maybe. eight out of ten. I feel like if I, I mean, for the most part, I tell people that I hook up with, like, listen, like, you just be obvious. Like, I'm never going to be, I'm never going to be grossed you? out. I'm never going to be like, eh, what? How dare you? Mitch, not everyone I'm just, just kind of be plane. like, hey, Very few people I want to come over and plane, fucking... Mitch. Ride very the staff for a while or whatever. You know what I mean? I want to. That's why the booty call exists because very few people can just text someone and be like, "Hey, let's have sex tonight." That's no, why you no, got to do the dance. Some son. of them do. Some of them do now because I've been like, "Listen, I'm just I'm not well, good at all that." You've courted a very nice roster that you can break off and the jump offs. <laughs> <laughs> very obvious booty texter coming 
over in five. <laughs> jump off. I just learned about that. What is the jump off? The that? jump off is a hookup that there's no like commitment with, right? Jump off knows that she is a jump. That's a difference. You know or what I mean? Or he. Or he. Fair, I guess. Oh, so, uh, I can't so have like, correct it. Oh, no, excuse okay. me, buddy. No, you know what? Fair enough. I'm right. That's 21st century, baby. Everybody can have jump offs. Uh, I can put my titty on time, and I, I can jump In my off, head, baby. in my head. And I can vote. Look out, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> in my head, I have. Voting, I driving, have, going to work. Got some have, booty text. The only reason got some jump offs. I, 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 Fuck have, I have Joe Budden in my head saying jump off from his from his early two thousands uh, raps hits where he I used to jump that. off. He used he. That's why I became first acquainted with uh, jump off with the Joe Budden on uh, Pump It Up. Uh, pump up the pump, jam. No, pump it bitch. up a little more. <laughs> different decade. Get your booty on the dance different floor. Different decade, sir. No, nope. But Ooh, very good. Uh, very well done. To stay. Very well done. Get um, your booty on the floor tonight. But, Make my yes. day. Uh, Make my day. Everyone can be a jump. The point of a jump Jerry? off, though, is that you Ain't know no talking about. you know that you're you're messing with somebody who is already not just like with someone, but in like a committed, like we oh. got a thing. You don't always know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fair. Oh, fair. so this is somebody you hook fair. up with who already has some. Okay. Life. If you and a person yeah. finding a jump off, you're in the committed thing, right. and you're like, "This is my jump," because you like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna jump off this motherfucker right quick, <laughs> and then I'm gonna be here, and I'm gonna oh, jump off, I'm gonna jump off that one, and I'm just jumping." Hence just the jumping term around. jump off. Right. I like yeah. it. Right. This is good. You know, it's the streets is real cool with the slides. Yeah, man. I'm <laughs> telling you. And the chip prices. Like, I mean, I'm telling prices. you, the streets have got a thesaurus that runs for days. Kids. But so yeah, as Amy points out, the jump off can very uh, easily never know they are jump off. Right. That's what makes a jump off so explosive. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh no, because I've been. Why? Because I, didn't somebody just jump off? I'm sorry to interrupt, but no, go no, on. Go ahead. The, no, yeah. um, uh, the, the jump. But I'm fine. Go with on the Laker on the Staples Center on the courtroom on the court floor last week, two weeks ago. Didn't someone jump off? Run out there. Oh, some girl what? ran out onto the under the court during a Lakers game a few weeks ago, and someone what? said she was someone's jump off, and I was like, what? "Oh, thanks, internet, for that." Yo, jump I off guess you'd game. have to be oh. right. You don't just you don't just get that <laughs> no, in your head. Like, Yo, I'm just gonna I'm go on down. Son. That's like, yeah, that's listen. some girl like I want I want to confront him in person in front of all, all the these people. motherfuckers right now in Riffopolis who'd made the mistake of having a jump off. Let mm. me tell you right now, you were in a new. Year of jump offs, okay? Ain't been no year with jump offs and running on athletic competition courts <laughs> trying to stab them up. Y'all motherfuckers better get your games together before you die and your families burn you. Greek style, coins on your eye. Mm. I watched Troy the other night. I feel like, I feel again, like if you, again, I just don't know why people aren't honest. I mean, I've been, I've certainly been the, the guy that was, they were cheating on their dude with. And I, I've known that. And been like, yeah. You were a jump off. You were the jump off. Yeah. You were good with it. How do you Fine. feel about being a jump off? Fine. Easy. I like it. Yeah. It's not yeah. a lot of it's like, listen, I, responsibility. We don't need to ever have that conversation like, where's this going? Because I well, know see, where you, it I, you, I know where it was, and I know where it goes with people in general, normally speaking. And I, that, there was a girl who who I was like I would say you're very untypical for Let me give you an, I, absolutely that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> here's a here's a true story. There was a girl that I literally thought was so attractive that when I tried to describe running into her in public to a friend of mine, my eyes started watering. Because I was like, I remember what she was wearing. I was like, man, she was that hot. And, uh, yeah, I know. And uh, she hit on me uh, when I had a girlfriend. And while my girlfriend was dancing at a party uh, on this stage thing, she was doing her own performance art. And this girl was like trying to pull me to the bathroom. And I was like, literally any other time. <laughs> I would be in that bathroom just in heaven. Like, this is awesome. I've wanted this chick forever. I can't believe there, like, might be a thing here. This is... But my girl is on stage right now. She can see me. Like, don't... Mm -mm. Uh, when that relationship <laughs> failed, I went... I was in that club again and saw this girl. And I thought, like, hey, now I'm single, nope. maybe. Yeah, now you think that. And I thought so, too. Uh, apparently, get enough alcohol in them. Changes the game. Uh, <laughs> anyway, the game has right. changed. So whatever we 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 Speck. we banged it out a few times over the next banged few months out. or whatever. Yeah, and she was with a dude, and then uh, and then uh, uh, you were okay to be then jump off because you were yeah, just happy yeah. being I, the game, dude. Honestly, yeah, you waited, I, you waited your turn for that you one. Bet. You jumping off the bench with a smile still, on your face. Uh, it it only only reason to believe in God would be that whole situation. But uh, so anyway, so she ended up breaking up with that dude uh, after a while 
But prior to that, she had told me, and I thought it was one of the most fascinating things I'd ever heard, was that she was like, I, I intentionally date guys that are below my, you know, oh, like, yeah. she's like, I intentionally date guys that I'm sort of doing a favor to because all guys cheat, and so I need to know that I can do better when they go off and cheat. Because, you know, they're not going to, like, even Damn, if they try. Matt is yeah, a broken person. That's yo. what I was saying. And I was like, wow, <laughs> that's hurt. I was like, a that lot was, yes. of sadness. I know. You I just know. drown in a river of sorrow every night. I know. Courtesy. I know. But it was, fa- but that's like, a fascinating thing to hear from somebody, it right? Is, look, it's a strategy. No, you know what it is, though? But it's one of those things where it's like, I guess that's like I can see your subconscious thinking that, but yeah. I can't well, believe you'd articulate well, it. Well, no, yes. I guess that's what, like, I can understand that level of hurt, but that level of self-awareness, because it's very rare, because you may find the actions deplorable, and that's fine or whatever, but there is a fascinating cognitive process in that psyche Mm -hmm. that has grappled with some very difficult, terrible (laughs) things. And has oh. and has manifested itself in some very self destructive choices. Yeah, and yeah. it has. That's that's one element. But the other element is that there's this large part that is aware of everything that we just described. Right, and has not only been aware of it but reconciles itself to it, and is just like, no, I'm copacetic right here. Do you know right, what I mean? Right. And right. that's and like and then to be able to be comfortable enough with all of that because that's when you're like well I can't well people be honest because like people do shit like that in their heads and who the fuck wants to tell someone about that because well, that's no, no, like no 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 that's no, not the no, honesty no, I'm no, talking no, about no, but yeah yeah yeah, you, yeah no, but it's not the honesty you're talking yeah, about but yeah. like, that's the yeah. same process yeah, behind it exactly, do you know what I'm saying exactly. though like that's what goes on cognitively that, that so it's still like, hearing that sentence to, was one of those things where it's like if you put that in a movie you'd be like wow that's a really fascinating look at human minds I'm sure that subconsciously a lot of people think that way but you would never have that conversation. Right, and it's and the same thing. Where it's, like, it. it's the same thing where it's like to open up like that. Right, is, right. But it's the same. That's the same thing that drives why people, you know, hide whatever. Why has it got to be white people? I said white people. <laughs> I know he did, but it sounds like you white know what? People. I tried to. I, <laughs> I had a burp. I had a burp, and I didn't want to you acknowledge to, it. To, so that was yeah, my fault. You tried to. You tried to swallow. The I tried burp. to swallow. I tried to swallow okay. the burp. Okay. And, white and it people, did. I knew white people everywhere. Okay. White people. It was like it. Damn. And you know why? Oh, my only white people. I apologize to says white people. white people. This. Oh damn! 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 That's, that's why, why you don't have You know a how white back. people would be not letting you swallow a burp. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, so that's why people, because I, I but, want. I, uh, but no, that's but that's why people hide so much about what goes on, sure, you know, in sure. that because I mean it's because of, to lay that out there, that's a that's a very. Well, you should hide some of your broken shit. Like, yeah, you know, sure, you sure. Mean? Yeah, I yeah. mean, I'm just, I mean, you know. and that's a very different conversation. But like, just yeah. that we know of that being laid out there. It's a, the white women. <laughs> Yeah, how many whores I am with? Right yeah, now. Okay, well, uh, well okay. that's fair. Here's the thing. Uh, two, real real quick fair. was that's when fair. I told <laughs> I told TK the same thing. I was like, here's what she said once, because I'll tell you the follow up to that and why I was like, uh, but I told TK this. His response was, oh, his response was that I was doing like a a, a subtle like a humble brag, like I was bragging about myself that I was the hotter guy she was cheating on her dude with. And I was like, I think you're missing the whole point of why I said this story. It's like, no, that's no, not yeah. what I was yeah, doing at all. Like, I literally on. was like, isn't it fascinating? I didn't somebody... think about that until, he said, that, until you put that out there. Well, I, I hope that it's not. It, it's yeah, literally, yeah, yeah. I knew you'd, you'd be amused by the, um, It's a fascinating thing, right? It's that somebody would think of that. So, smash cut to several months later. It's not like we, we didn't see each other that because often. Because you know what it is? But, but we, were, we were, she had broken up with him. So, many months later, uh, we were hanging out. And uh, and she was she was like sitting on top of me, and uh, you know naked or whatever. And we're just, having, we're just in having a conversation, details, just in the most abrasive fashion. Well, I didn't fashion. want you to just think oh, that nice. she was sitting yeah. on top of me for no reason. Yeah, well, okay. So we were in bed, and she was just sitting on top of me, just just naked, and just we were just having a conversation. That's just how we talk, as you want to do. Yeah, because she likes just sitting up and playing with sure. her tits Bro, for some listen, reason, and know? I'm not one to complain because they do, are marvelous. Do, do. Whatever, baby. Uh, I got photos. I'll show you later. That so was... anyway, uh, she's a nude model. It's okay. Uh, so, so anyway, we, she ends up having this, like, we ended up having this weird, like, drunk and high conversation about, like, people and relationships and whatever have you, just in a, in a sort of, like, banging out, like, kind of just, let's bitch about things, right? 
thinking, as I was, because again, I don't get clues sometimes, I was thinking, oh, we're just having a conversation about relationships, you know what I mean? Like we have a million times. And then she ends it, because I had said something about like, uh, I said, yeah, I'm just not real sure where I'm at on all that stuff, you know, I'm just not sure, you know, I got to figure out a lot of things about myself, so I couldn't, I couldn't, I wouldn't dare bring somebody into my world yeah. and just make them miserable not knowing what the fuck is up with me. Sure enough. So uh, she up. goes, she goes, that's where you're at? And I was like, yeah, that's just, you know, I just don't feel like I should be bringing anybody into that. So, you know, I just have fun and, you know, if they want to have fun, cool, but I don't, I, I can't, I can't torture anybody by fucking with them right now. And she goes, oh, all right. Put her clothes on and left. Damn, son. I respect that though. Do you know what I mean? Because you put it out. But I also, I was on the other side where I was like, now, and in a lot of situations, I might have been like, wait a minute, I don't think you understood. But I was like, no, no, you got to go. Like, I get it. If that's, because I wasn't going to be that guy. Right. You know? Yeah. So, anyway. Oh, yeah, I mean, you lay it out there like that. I mean, it's just, all you can do is just lay it out very bluntly for somebody. Be like, listen, <laughs> yeah. this is what's waiting on the other side of the fence. If you come in, probably going to get slaughtered. Okay. And to be honest, if she'd have been like, if she'd been more obvious in why she was asking that question, I would have just said, honestly, I've heard your fucking mo. You told me drunken one night. Right. Your whole thing. I don't want to be that. Be obvious, bro. I don't want to be the guy that Subject. you're gonna cheat on me with the, the moment you think I'm Humanity cheating on you. Can't I don't want to survive do that. with obviousness, man. I know. That's why we do the booty call dance. We can't survive <laughs> being like, hey, let's have sex tonight. Someone would be like, yeah, okay. The shame would just See, blow the, up the that phone. That would be so much easier for me. And it you would be, not, are you honest if you booty call? Tim? I've never done that, so I've not. Yeah. I've okay, not okay, ever, I'm the only one here who's ever participated I've, in any type of booty tech situation. To be fair, uh, you did it unknowingly. Yeah, like Perhaps. I've I've definitely texted with people and then be like, why don't you just come over? Let's, right, let's, you know what I mean? Definitely, but I've I I can't say that I've ever been like, oh, I'm gonna text so and so to see if they want to bang it out right now. <laughs> I'm very, I'm, and I've certainly true. never been that obvious <laughs> I about do love it. Bang it out, just yeah. for the record. It's, okay. it's very good. It's, you've never been, been obvious, and then you've never even participated in anything. Well, that's actually so probably much. the best assessment, Mitch. Wouldn't you say? I'm very atypical in a lot of those. Yeah, regards. yeah. I don't. Yeah. I've, I've never really. I've like to. I've like to shy away. I would say I would say not just that I haven't been obvious. I don't think that I've ever intentionally done that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I tend to just not text people that late unless there's actually that, some reason. That's why it's so fascinating but, to me because it's so counter to how my mind operates. Because I like you know I like, I'm so I'm so suspicious of people that like if I existed and like that was a thing for me that I was like all right I'm doing booty calls you know like I'm taking that <laughs> hey status update Teddy's doing booty calls <laughs> no, like, that was that oh was... I see Teddy turned on the booty call oh, light yeah, yeah, oh yeah no he's on we can all chat oh Let's we got this. the light on yeah, okay yeah. good I just wanted to I've been waiting I've been holding Facebook, on Facebook Teddy is now accepting booty calls internet going nuts. Uh, Teddy's relationship has status uh, has changed to accepting booty goals. That would be Zuckerberg. Get on it, uh, uh, dude. If I honestly, if that, I would. I know, it's, thing, your, I I know love, it's your birthday and everything, but get on that I, shit. I fucking love some the coding. shit out of drunken texts. I love late night booty call texts. You love calls. everything that surrounds a booty call. I love call, basically. all that shit. I just, I'm I just not drinking, very I good texting, at like. I always I feel like feeling. I, you know how it is. I don't like to bother people, so I feel like I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not going to bother them in their day. The like, day they're out too. drinking or whatever, and I'm going to be like, hey, whatever you're doing, fuck it. I need something on my dick. Like, come on over here. Like, I'm not going to be that guy. <laughs> now, see, you would never but text somebody... that. Like, you would never text that, hey, I need you on my dick. You would never text that. Yeah. Right. You would never. I'm just because saying you that, could that, not. That, you, you, you don't. Like, it would I don't be, like to bother people. It though. would be very rare for you to find not someone not. that not only could you text that to, but that would be okay with being spoken to like that as a booty call. No, you know no, I, mean? I, I do know, I do, I, they would probably show I up I know a few people who Pegasus. specifically, I know, I could, I, people have specifically said, no, you can just text me that. That's fine. I'll, and I'll that's come only over. probably because you've dedicated a lot of time. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of yeah. resources. You, yeah. you guys have already communicated in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I'm like, listen, I'm just not very good at that. You've blah, journeyed blah, blah. deep into Maybe Mordor. <laughs> like, listen, I'm a perv, but I also feel like I bother people a lot. So I, you know, I like, I'll look at you through the window, you know what I'm saying? And if you look over and you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm into that, come on over. But don't, like, I'm not, I didn't want you to Wait, see what I'm doing. I didn't want to interrupt you. Paper, yeah, see? Okay. Peep your person in the window. What's going on now? It's a metaphor. We'll call Who's that, that peeping in my window? Aztec man. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now that was a solid riff. That, that, that was some well solid. That's a good My callback. lord, Thank man. Thank you. Thank you. That that was... Thank you. You know what it is? Every time someone says Aztec man, I have this. I, 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 I'm, I'm blaming all of it on the riffing pipe, but like it, the visualization is it's so like, strong. Oh I'm not scared of the Aztec and, man. And like no. I see you. It's not scared. I ain't never scared. But like, I, I just see are. him. You know, like <laughs> Legend, it's like Legend. You don't know about this, too, maybe too. But Legend of the Hidden Temple on Nickelodeon, where like the, the, the like hidden. Yeah, you know the temple you got guard. The piece of the cave. Yeah, the temple guard would just come out that motherfucker and just grab you. Like yeah. that's what I'm imagining in the parking garage. Like <laughs> somebody's about to open the Jetta, and then like someone just like comes out of a fucking parking column, and you're like, oh, Aztec man! <laughs> and you just get dis- <laughs> you just get disappeared. I didn't have a visual to go with it. That's what's been going on this whole time. I oh. I don't even see you, motherfuckers. I just see a 3D layout of Aztec Man, like the Korean anime style, like the 3D <laughs> rendering. It's time for me to bend over and receive my destiny. <laughs> I'm sorry, should I use this one? Hey, everybody, we're all going to get late. No, not so much. <laughs> I don't think that's Aztec Man. I don't think that's what Aztec Where's Man's got going on. That's well, what it's as... Aztec. Aztec. Yeah. You know what though? Juice like, white pussy. That would be the best pilot in the world. <laughs> Aztec, Aztec man? man? Like just a pilot about a Aztec man. I love how in your world TV shows are just the pilot. You're like just a pilot where like yeah. not just try a TV to, show. Higher, no, son. No, son. <laughs> I'm trying to think higher. about upfronts. One of these <laughs> days, one of these days I'm going to star in a pilot no, no, I've been about a like, I've been about... Thinking about upfronts. That's all I want. Just a pilot, you guys. That's cool. I'll tap out after that. <laughs> I'm black. I wouldn't expect much anyway. Oh, I'm going to put that on the board. <laughs> wow, there it is. It's all been distilled down into one sentence. Thank you, Amy. I'm uh, black. I don't expect much This makes anyway. a perfect bookend to last week where in, he- in Teddy's head, Inception, every time something happened that was Inception-like, a voice would come over and, Inception. <laughs> like, that's not, it's just every time something gets into Inception territory, you'll hear Teddy go, Inception. And like, and he, he kind of gets like, for like it. as if that's what the movie was. Like maybe y'all didn't watch the movie on the same plane that I did. <laughs> <laughs> you, had a, you had a guy next to you. Yeah, it was a very large gentleman who was hovering over my shoulder the entire uh, time. He like lifts your headphones off. <laughs> Inception. They're like, yo, can you mind, man, son? You drooling my popcorn. Please. There's some 3D audio up in this motherfucker. That is great. I am black. I didn't expect it much anyway. <laughs> Damn, we only so. got a... I just, you, did you say that earlier? I'm I don't sure know. you have, Teddy. I'm sure I know you what? have. I don't think I never said it like that. <laughs> we, got, we, got like, uh, we got like nine minutes unless you want to go into bonus, which I'm fine with. Man, it, it just flies by, doesn't it? Um, it does. Uh, um, you want to talk about the? I almost feel like this would ap- end up being its own bonus episode. The Argentina uh, gender rights law, if you're not. Mm, uh, not. Ar- oh, well, they passed about it's for, transsec- for transgender, right? Well, it's anybody you can you can, you can change. change your your uh, your gender or have no gender or make up a gender right. at will. Right. You don't have to like go through the courts or anything. You just yeah. be like. Hey, I'm actually a babalakatus right. or whatever. That's just like a ton of paperwork. Yeah. No. no, but it's no paperwork. That's their whole thing is like you can just identify same. however you want to identify, which is interesting, but I mean It's a it's a very different very different you, you'd have to think. you'd have to by so doing that. I mean, if we were to do that here in this country, we would have to basically throw out every law that mentions male or female. No, that would be pure anarchy for us. Like we could never institute a system like that. Yeah. We have too much infrastructurally my Where? my only issue with any kind of intersexed uh, laws or otherwise is literally just that, uh, again, I don't like to bother people. I try not to offend people. <laughs> I try not to offend, offend people kind of uh, <laughs> accidentally or whatever have you. Uh, I'll give you a perfect example. I once worked in a silver jewelry store, and there was a girl who came in with her mom who looked, I'm talking just like a 10-year-old boy who just got off a of soccer practice. She was wearing a full soccer outfit, in fact looked like a 10-year-old boy just getting off a of soccer practice. Yeah. Now, I was a little confused. She didn't have you know, breasts or anything else like that, but a very sort of feminine voice for a 10-year-old boy. And I just kind of thought, it's interesting. Maybe 12-year-old boy, I should say that. Um, and I just, but I, I, I used no uh, gender normative terms, if you will. I just, uh, I just treated them like a, like a customer. And then at some point, an actual little boy, uh, or I would say little boy, 13-year-old kid, came into the store looking for something as well. And I was on the other end of the store, and I couldn't find whatever his, he was looking for uh, while somebody was helping the, the girl. And I said, uh, the gentleman by the door 
is looking for blah, blah, blah. And when I had said that, the mom was standing next to me. And I hadn't looked when I said that, and her daughter was by the door. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So she went to complain to management that I had called her, let's say, a spade, a spade, walks like a duck. Or uh, uh, this, a very tomboyish girl, uh, which clearly this happens a lot, that she's mistaken for a boy. And so her mom got all angry with the management that I called her daughter a boy. And I was like, first off, I wasn't referring to your daughter. Secondly, if that happens so often, at some point, you kind of have to be not What's you going to do about it? You kind of have to be not offended, right? <laughs> right? So it's like, I don't want to offend anybody if I'm like, uh, ma'am, uh, excuse me, uh, just because I'm wearing a dress. I'd be like, okay, <laughs> listen, fine, wear it. I don't care, but you have a beard. And... <laughs> You know, dudes have beards, and if and if you want to be, if you want to be, if you want to identify as a female, that's that's entirely your choice, and I don't care. But like, don't get angry at me if I misidentify you. And I think that certainly, I don't know if in other countries, I don't know about Argentina, but uh, certainly here, a lot of what we say is is gender based. You know, she, our language is ma'am, sir. Well, I mean, no, 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 no. I mean, Sp- yeah, Spanish is a language that's very, very uh, gender identified, yeah, like masculine, yeah. feminine mm-hmm. as well. So I, I think too. that's, I mean, that's, but it's very different say, in yeah, that regard. Yeah, French, French, and, and Spanish both have that thing where like uh, uh, inanimate objects have to be gender based, masculine, you know, like, feminine. Yeah. Oh, that's a that's a female table. Like, what? Well, yeah. Well, I mean, like, well, <laughs> no, yeah. Well, like, no, like that's la table, not l table. And you're like, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, ta- yeah. I mean, but it's, but it's, I mean, that's, but it's like a very you know, right. It's right. ingrained there. That's not. You know, you you might have variances with the language in particular regions and stuff, but like that's a thing that's that's there in the language. Whereas right. English has its own weird, quirky shit. But the but like there is its own problems with gender and and right. sexism and stuff within the language. But I don't. I mean, it's a very different kind of pro, uh, animal than I would. say. I will say regard. we did we we took a step very recently. I want to say. Maybe it was a year ago. Might have been sooner. Might have been a little. I, I might have been sooner than a year ago. It wasn't that long ago where we where where the Supreme Court officially uh, redefined what rape is, and it used to be uh, male penetrating a woman against her. The FBI will. did. Was it FBI? Or is it FBI or the Justice Department? I believe, but it was one of the. It was, it was, like, FBI, it was the one official, of the, the official. official and yeah. now it's like yeah. any person who violates another person. Yeah in a way that involves the genitals or breasts or covered areas of the body right. against their... It was, it's, it's a pretty yeah. broad definition, yeah. but it's the right one because it leaves out all gender and, well, it, and it allows right more thing. because I think the the main thing too is it allowed for you know at, at the federal level as well you could actually now acquire better statistical uh, right, data right, right. about about because that's the thing where it's like there's been a lot of studies recently coming out um, where you know they were they like there was another big one that came out last at the end of last year where it was talking about uh, sexual assaults and just like the number of men who reported sexual assaults at at a very young age was you know like much higher than anyone was expecting. It was the most comprehensive study that had been done in the country, pretty much I think in the country's history. Uh, you know as far as those statistics are gone, and so it's one of those things where it's like because you know we were dealing with you know like the generational change and we've got a outdated definition and you know like a a very complicated world that we're living in we don't really have we can't have you know like we don't have the statistics to even have the right conversation either in that regard so it's it's like we're catching up in so many ways you know where it's like we got to change the definition so that we can finally talk about this so that we can finally acknowledge the fact that like yes man can get raped as well too or like yeah you know like or like or like a 17 year old midge can get preyed on by a twenty-five-year-old. Oh wait! I was a okay with that whole Mitch? thing. I thought you said Midge, and I was like, I don't think you can call little people that. <laughs> I seriously, where I was. <laughs> dwarf. Dwarf is the better term to use. I was like, Teddy, you can't say that. <laughs> mm. I thought you said seventeen-year-old. Yeah, like I just made up my what? own <laughs> slang for little uh, for dwarves. Yo, I'd be mad bigoted, son. That's mad. I bigoted. know. I was like, did you just say Midge? I'm glad. Like, I'm no. glad. It's good that, to know. Again, you know, it's good to know that on, you would have put just, me in just, check, though. Just so I. Can, just so if I, I can, was, if I was a pioneer and, and big, just so I can dwarves, calibrate, I want to calibrate my uh, uh, my PC chart here. Uh, Midge, does that go above <laughs> or below offensiveness on the Negroid uh, 
uh, where where Negro is that before? Is it more or less offensive than Negro? Negroid, see, a mid would be about maybe I would say because like, I feel like Negroid is slightly more acceptable because you couldn't sit up with a straight see, face, right? Negroid is slightly worse because it's got the aura of scientificity right. around it. Okay, <laughs> that's true. I guess if I guess if you I, know why Negroid is so terrible way, because I, if I heard a guy on his bitch. porch going fucking Negroids were here yesterday, uh, like I'd be like, oh, you yeah. fucking hate them the as if they're like a weird I, object. I know we but if he was like, up. goddamn niggers, you'd be like, well, you're just a racist from the South. This is like, how I, I know it. about Negroids, is that okay. I had two friends in elementary school, and they were, you know, they were like, they were friends of mine, and like, they were very, like, we were also very, like, kind of nerdy guys, you know, and, and they were doing a science project, something about, like, some comparative thing with the races or whatever, and they were using, you know, trying to use technical terms, you know, Caucasian and what have Sorry, you. Sorry, I found the redefinition of rape, if you and want to, like, wait. And they, and they were like, oh, we're using Negroid, and I remember being like, no, like, no. <laughs> That's I don't. How I'm pretty, do you even spell they're like that? Like dictionary. N e g r o i d. Thank you. Racist. Um, <laughs> but I'm, but no, like and I remember like that's spelling bee. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Next right. week. But I remember being like, I remember like it was very early on. I'm being being like <laughs> that is not right. Fundamentally, that something has struck me as very wrong oh, okay. about that as a kid. You know. I don't think I know of well. And I that's, I've never heard of any other terminology. But I remember being like, where did you even pull Negroid from? Do you know? Does it does feel scientific? Oh, the redefinition of rape was the penetration, no matter how slight, of the vagina or anus with any body part or object or oral penetration by a sex organ of another person without the consent of the victim. Okay, yep, that sounds about right. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think that would say that they covered it, right? That's about rapey? Yeah, that sounds pretty rapey. That sounds about right. Oh, 91 was a bad year for me to be hitting on younger boys. <laughs> <laughs> So that yeah. was so he yeah. he wasn't just screaming that out for fun. Huh. <laughs> now that, I was on Boy. a rape case and yeah. a jury case. And oh really? That's the first time I heard digital penetration. I was like, oh, never really thought of it as mm-hmm. digital. Oh, well, because it's yeah, it's your yeah, digits. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, wow, you're making it. Rape yeah. is, that's rape it does. Science. It does sound. I mean, it sounds technological. Yeah. Right. Digital it's, rape, where you're yeah, like, you're what? Like, what? Like, exactly. like you stole your Facebook status. <laughs> <laughs> So oh bad. God. I know. That's the thing is like that's where that comes from is from the digits. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But that'd be the first time I'd heard that I was a juror and I was It should like, be called oh digitid, perhaps. Digitid? Instead of digital. You gotta I mean, let's you know? just do straight up what you said earlier, old school finger bang. You know what I mean? Right. Well, I mean, I mean but this we're talking about rape. Yeah. If you're just talking about finger banging, yeah, I wouldn't say <laughs> I digitally penetrated her. Because people were like Or you forced like, finger bang. Well, we've, wow, you missed it. Yeah, yeah, man, we, we I came out. We don't need to go there at all. I feel terrible that we haven't time. gotten into anything about you at all. You've just been <laughs> listening to me, Teddy. I think Amy wants it that tennis way. Tennis back and forth. I don't uh, think she would have had it well, any other way. No, I just. Uh, all, Wait, are you my, good for we, a little bonus? Are you good for yeah, a little? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Right, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, why don't you plug where people get? You got a website, a Facebook, Twitter. What you got? Yeah, you know what? Wednesday night I'm at the Improv this week in LA. Sweet. Boop 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 boop. LA free improv. tickets, free tickets. Women who kill show. Let me know. Yeah, eight o'clock. Um, and then I do. I contribute a lot to. A Wait, website. it's women who kill. Yeah, that's the name of the show. Mm, my kind of yeah, bitches, right? I know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh wait, you mean like 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 the kill, like they kill on stage? They're not like no well, murder, murder, murder escape, red room. Kill yeah, something. that's I'm. I'm, I'm kill I will be there. Something. Why is they're not killing cats? We're, no. Bush or dogs. Say. I like dogs. I'm a big fan of Bush dogs. I'm a big fan of dogs. Like if they may have smacked a rat in the Mitch, head, I'm not big. Sorry, go Yeah. Ahead. What? You're yeah, you plug it. Oh, oh, no. And then I, I contribute to a website, sugarbang.com. I do a little oh, yeah, that's right. Sugarbang, yeah, yeah. I, you know, a little this and that. A little, a little more and then do you have a website or anything? Or are you on no, Twitter? Yeah, I'm on Twitter. Just my name. So is Sugarbang is like your site, and then you invited Sugar other people Bang, to well, write on it as well? Well, it's a site that I contribute to. What? Who just hit what? <laughs> Did you just hit your head? Like That'd be the midge over there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've just... How do you like it? Oh, shoot. No, no, no. I, I contribute to the site. It's not mine, but I'm one of the main contributors in the sports part of it. So I put my little show up every week. So Good yeah, shit. yeah, Good yeah. That's my thing. Kudos. That's kind of my thing. Rock on. But yeah, I'm up for overtime. It doesn't have to be about me, you guys. You guys well, heard I just, that I had know, a booty we, call from a virgin, and you, you know, oh, I definitely just, shared stuff. That we got, that was that was most of the conversation. There from everybody, so it's Mitch. Good. There's uh-huh. plenty in there from everybody. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right, uh, I don't see any problems. Uh, so hopefully everything went off without a hitch. Uh, we're going into bonus. Thank you guys for uh, watching slash listening. We'll be back again next week. Uh, Teddy, give us some sort of outing so that uh, I can cut out all that crap I just said and end it on whatever you're about to say now. Thank you. Good night, Riffopolis. Bitches, Mazel tov. <laughs> Is that good for you, Mitch?